Chapter 3021 Preparing for enemies as if he had been woken from a dream, Long Chen suddenly thought of how he could control his power. After igniting his divine flames, his 108,000 stars were like volcanoes. Once he activated them, those volcanoes would all erupt at the same time. The 108,000 stars were one body, there was no way to separate them, and no way to take out only a portion of their power. Either he didn't use them, or he used them all. It had already been quite a few days since he had entered the Divine Flame Realm. Theoretically, he should have long since grown accustomed to using the power of his Divine Flames, but he had not. He had always thought that his control had yet to reach a sufficient level. If he tried using that overbearing power, he would only harm himself. When he had used Zhao Wuzheng to test himself, he had used that power. The injury to his arm was actually only partially from Zhao Wuzheng. A portion also came from a backlash from his own power. It was because he was unable to control his new power that he had not increased his cultivation base at all during this time. However, today, Long Chen was enlightened by these star diagrams. It wasn't that his control was lacking. He was lacking something else. The Starry River Sage had created the Starry River of the Sky Art based on the Seven Star Battle Armor. The reason that he succeeded was because he had his Yun and Yang core to bear the brunt of his astral power. That was the Yun and Yang fish in the dantian of that person in the mural. As the Yun and Yang fish revolved, Yun and Yang alternated. The harsh astral power was softened. And then the astral power that could not be controlled before became usable. The Starry River Sage had changed his dantian to contain this yin and yang forcey field. It was an extremely brazen idea. At first, Long Chen hadn't had this spark of insight. But then when he saw the spots on the nine star heir's arms, he thought of his own scales when he used the Azure Dragon battle armor. He had no dantian. He couldn't give rise to yin and yang energy but he had the dragon scales that could contain his power. First he would send his astral power into his scales, and through his scales, he would control them. That would achieve the same effect as the Starry River Sage's Yun and Yang Forcey Field. He had 108,000 stars, and also 108,000 scales when he used the Azure Dragon Battle Armor. That couldn't possibly be a coincidence. In the past, when he used them both, they resonated with each other but that feeling of resonance had vanished after entering the immortal world. He hadn't quite cared about that before. However, now he realized that the Azure Dragon battle armor was an equally miraculous technique. If it was merged with the nine-star hegemon body art, he was completely confident in being able to control the power of his divine flames. Thinking of that, Long Chen began rapidly thinking of how he could merge them. That would solve his present predicament. Right now, his divine flames were like sledgehammers. If smashed on the earth, they would smash a giant hole, but the sledgehammer itself would shatter. He himself would be injured. What he needed was a softer handle, one that could still unleash the power of the hammer, but without injuring himself. That softer handle would be the Azure Dragon battle armor. Hey, suddenly, just as he was immersed in his calculations, someone slammed their hand on his shoulder, causing him to jump. He looked back to see Bei Shishi, seemingly surprised that someone as fearless as Long Chen would jump from a pat on the shoulder. Bei Shishi smiled. It seemed she felt it to be humorous, but also felt a bit apologetic. What are you smiling about? Don't end up letting out some snot, said Long Chen irritably. Scram. Bei Shishi's smile vanished, replaced with anger. This fellow's mouth really was irritating. What did you hit me for? demanded Long Chen. You've been staring at this mural for too long. Sometimes you're frowning. Sometimes you're smiling. I was afraid you would become a mad dog and start crazily biting people. Snorted Bei Shishi. Long Chen had been staring at the mural. And his expression had changed many times. They had also been rather extreme. Although his spiritual fluctuations were normal. Bei Shishi was worried he was in danger. So she had tried to draw him out of his stupor for her good intentions to be responded with by Long Chen's cold words. She was naturally infuriated. Long Chen shrugged. Fine. I blamed you wrongly. I apologize. Bei Shishi was caught a bit off guard by this apology. Long Chen's character changed far too much. She stared at Long Chen, not knowing if this was a sincere apology or just groundwork for more treacherous words. 
I cultivate the starry river of the sky art. There are many aspects that I wasn't sure of, but after seeing this mural, I feel enlightened, as if the clouds have parted. That's why I was immersed. Right now, I need to go into seclusion for a short time. I'll trouble you to protect me, said Long Chen. Seclusion? Now, Bei Shishi stared at him like he was a monster. Their current situation was pressing, but he wanted to go into seclusion? It won't be long, at most, six hours. If there's danger, you can wake me at any time, said Long Chen. Just at this moment, a jade plate on one of the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples' waists lit up. She said, someone has entered the passageway and triggered the alarm. Everyone's hearts tightened. Their path had been discovered. The five powers had already gathered, and now all their experts were definitely going to rush here. They had been discovered. That path was also the only way out. Now they were trapped. The five powers would definitely immediately seal that exit, and their top experts would be coming in. Bei she looked at Long Chen. He smiled. It's fine. Let them come. You can continue gathering the murals. I'm going into seclusion. Long Chen sat on the ground just like that. A layer of silver scales appeared on his body. Following that, a small star appeared on every scale. After the stars appeared, flames slowly ignited. Those flames caused this space to shudder. Even Bei Shishi's heart shook. An explosive power was now coming from Long Chen's body. Hurry up. Gather the murals and get into top condition. Prepare for battle shouted Bei Shishi when she saw that everyone was just staring at Long Chen in shock. Everyone quickened the pace. After two hours, all the murals had been gathered. They took inventory right there before giving them to Bei Shishi. During this time, the disciple skilled in formations received multiple signals that their enemies were pressing forward, continuously breaking through their traps and getting closer. Guild leader, our enemies are about to reach the palace entrance. I feel like we should seal that location to occupy the territorial advantage, she said. No need. Let them through. Just at this moment, Long Chen's voice rang out. Everyone was delighted. Long Chen had finished so quickly. He slowly stood and smiled brightly. It seemed that he was in an excellent mood. Novaloon.com Do you have a battle plan? Asked Bei Shishi. No need. Have the guards pull back. I'll treat you to a marvelous show. Long Chen's smile was so sinister that it gave Bei Shishi goosebumps. Chapter 3022 Playing Big Long Chen's instructions shocked everyone. The channel to the palace was the best place to defend. A single person could block an army there. However, Long Chen wanted them to just get in for free. The Heaven Female Alliance's experts looked at Bei Shishi. Bei Shishi also frowned. She asked, Do you have a better battle plan? It can't count as a battle plan. But just blocking a path doesn't have any meaning. If we were to do so, perhaps we could block many of their numbers. But it would come at a price. They have more numbers. So we can't fight a battle of attrition. Furthermore, there is one person that we definitely can't block. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, said Long Chen. You mean the assassin from the Bloodkill Hall? Yes. That assassin will be able to slip through a chaotic battlefield as easily as a fish swimming in water. Perhaps you and I aren't afraid of his assassination, but other than the two of us, no one can block his sure kill blow. Me, I like to get the biggest gains for the smallest price. Thus, I don't want the people by my side to be in such danger, said Long Chen. If you're so afraid of death, what can you possibly accomplish? Muttered one of the Heaven Female Alliance's experts quietly. Although it was quiet, everyone heard it clearly. Her voice clearly contained a trace of disdain that caused Luo Bing and the others' expressions to grow ugly. This woman actually mocked Long Chen for being afraid of death? It didn't just infuriate them. It also infuriated the other disciples that Long Chen had brought with him. Although they hadn't been in contact with Long Chen for long, Long Chen had led them through their enemies without a single person on their side dying. That was probably an existence on par with a divine general. His exchange with Zhao Wuzheng had unleashed destructive power that had convinced all of them of his strength. For this woman to say that he was afraid of death was practically the greatest insult. Although they also respected and worshipped Fairy Shishi, they were still infuriated. They glared at her. Bei Shishi also felt like she had gone too far, and was about to chide her when Long Chen said, 
You are right. I'm truly afraid of dying. This life of mine doesn't belong to just me. It belongs to all the brothers and sisters who love me. I know that if I die, they will be so pained that they'd wish that they were the ones to die. My own death isn't important, but to cause so much pain to others would be too selfish. So you are right. I'm afraid of dying. Although I will also put my life on the line at times, I will make sure to lower the risk. I cherish my life, and I cherish other people's lives. If you feel like this is unsuitable, we can split up and fight on our own. Long Chen's tone was cold. Although there was no anger in his voice, everyone knew that her words had displeased him. If you feel that you are strong enough and not afraid of dying, you can block that path on your own, sneered Luo Ning. By fighting off the five powers forces on your own, won't you make a name for yourself? You can prove to everyone here that you are a peerless hero although she also verbally fought with Long Chen. She had never seen someone as brave as Long Chen. She was also angered. She didn't care who the other person was. She directly retorted, not even giving Bei Shishi face. Didn't she think that she was a badass? Was she not afraid of death? Then why bother fighting with everyone else? She could fight on her own. That woman was enraged. But before she could say anything, Bei Shishi coldly said, Keep your mouth shut. Starting now, you are not permitted to speak. Another word, and you're expelled from the Heaven Female Alliance. Although Bei Shishi was arrogant and stubborn, this time that disciple of hers had gone too far. Despite not knowing Long Chen for long, she knew that every expert had their own pride, especially an expert like Long Chen. For this disciple to suddenly stir up trouble intentionally at such a time was absolutely brainless. That woman's expression finally changed. She no longer dared to make a sound. Instead, she found that even the other disciples of the Heaven Female Alliance were acting like they didn't know her, as if they were also offended by what she had just said. Long Chen, my apologies. I did not discipline my disciples enough, said Bei Shishi. Long Chen smiled and shook his head. It's fine. We should still be working together. I also am truly afraid of dying. My words just now were nothing personal. The combat style between the two of us is different. Perhaps you like facing your enemies directly on the narrow path for a brave battle to the death. It's simple, direct, and quick. It truly is the most suitable method for the immortal world's law of survival. However, I prefer getting the biggest gains with the lowest price, to get the greatest victory with the fewest casualties. If you trust me, hopefully you can cooperate with me. If you feel like my style doesn't suit you, we can each fight for ourselves for a moment. Everyone's eyes focused on Bei Shishi as they waited for her decision. Bei Shishi had always been proud and aloof. Luo Bing and the others were a bit worried. Unexpectedly, Bei Shishi smiled. I'm very curious as to your smallest price for the greatest gain. Just treat it as me taking a lesson. I'll leave you to direct this battle that agreement astonished the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples. They didn't recall Bei Shishi ever cooperating with others like this. Especially not with a man. Luo Bing and the others cheered. Long Chen truly was powerful. Even Bei Shishi was willing to listen to his direction. Now they could truly be said to be united. Long Chen smiled. He felt much more relaxed. If Bei Shishi refused to cooperate, they would probably suffer in this upcoming battle. I previously felt that other than being beautiful, you didn't have any strong points. But you're actually pretty good. The way you praise people is quite special. It's just a bit far-fetched, said Bei Shishi indifferently. She was already numb to other people's praise. But for some reason, this praise did cause some tiny fluctuations inside. It was as if obtaining his praise was something worth being happy about. Ziaol, I'm giving you an important mission. Since Fairy Shishi has agreed to work together, let's go big. We'll exterminate all the experts from the five powers, said Long Chen with a rare excitement. He wasn't aware that black spots appeared deep within his eyes. It was as if the eyes of a fiend were slowly awakening. Chapter 3023 Arrival Boss Just tell me what you want to set up. Bei Ziaol patted his chest excitedly. Bei Ziaol was never given a high opinion, and his father was always beating him. Because of it, he started to feel inferior inside. But ever since he started following Long Chen, everyone viewed him as a friend. No one was looking down on him. Furthermore, 
when he had used his divine ability to transport everyone through space, their stunned gazes of admiration had definitely satisfied his vanity. Use your spatial energy to leave this place. After that, use my status plate to gather all the disciples of the academy here, said Long Chen. Boss, this place is too deep. My spatial energy probably can't pass through, said Bei Ziaol. His spatial power was inherited from his mother. However, he hadn't awakened his latent talent and could only do short-distance moves through space. Furthermore, with the Earth as a barrier, his range was further limited. You'll be fine. Go in that direction. There's a cave in there, and the walls are thin. With your power, you can easily pass through. Long Chen pointed. Bei Ziaol formed hand seals and sensed it. He was surprised. Boss, how did you know? You're amazing. Long Chen smiled slightly. This was information given to him by the Heaven Merging Spirit Stone. Although he had said that he would only help Long Chen once, other than fighting, he could help out due to Long Chen's favor. With his Heaven Merging Eyes, he could see through the earth. Ziaol, once everyone is gathered, have them surround the entrance. When you receive my orders, you launch an attack and completely seal that path. I want all the experts of the five powers to be buried here, said Long Chen. Bei Ziaol was incomparably excited. He directly used his spatial divine ability and vanished. Long Chen sighed inside. Having a good father and mother was truly important to a cultivator. Due to his circumstances, Bei Ziaol hadn't managed to awaken his talent. But he already had such amazing abilities. If he did awaken those latent abilities, he could probably slip through heaven and earth with only a few being capable of stopping him. Upon hearing that Long Chen wished to bury all the experts of the five powers here, even Bei Shishi's heart shook. Despite that usual naughty smile that wasn't dependable at all, Long Chen was so ruthless. You wish Ziaol to do something so big? Are you not worried about a slip up? asked Bei Shishi. Staring at Long Chen closely, those who can follow me must have the ability to stand on their own. I trust him, said Long Chen. Seeing that she was about to continue arguing, Long Chen suddenly laughed. What, are you worried about something happening with the plan? Or are you worried about him? Why would I be worried about him? Snorted Bei Shishi coldly. Long Chen simply looked at her with a smile. What are you looking at? Raged Bei Shishi. His gaze made her uncomfortable. It was as if his gaze could see through a person's soul. You have good skin, said Long Chen. Do I need your praise? This sudden change caught Bei Shishi slightly off guard. Her beautiful face reddened ever so slightly, and she turned away from Long Chen. Bei Shishi was cold and aloof, and she rarely interacted with men. This behavior could even be considered an inexplicable distaste for men. It was to the extent that even the number one handsome man of the academy, Young Master Chang Chuan, was an existence that she never gave a second glance. The two of them had definitely not exchanged more than ten words in the academy. Within the High Firmament Academy, both men and women were toppled by her beauty. Most men weren't even capable of speaking in front of her. However, the very first time she encountered Long Chen, she felt him to be different from others. When Long Chen first saw her, other than his eyes brightening ever so slightly, he returned to complete calm very quickly. That was the first time she ever encountered such a thing. So she became curious. Although she suspected that Long Chen was putting on such an act to draw her in. As time passed, she found that he truly was a strange person. He had beautiful women like Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu Qingyan by his side. But he always maintained a distance from them. Many people assumed that the reason he had interjected himself into the conflict between the Luo family and the Chu family was due to a romantic relationship with Luo Bing, but reality showed that despite there being so many beautiful women beside him who also depended on him, he didn't even seem to understand romantic feelings. He continued to act carefree and casual. Originally, Bei Shishi thought him to be a foolish brat. But just now he said that he had hot-blooded brothers and women waiting for him. That didn't seem like someone who was inexperienced with emotions. To sum up, there were many mysterious parts to Long Chen that Bei Shishi found herself growing curious about. Even the way he spoke was strange and difficult to see through. Sometimes he could enrage a person with a single word. And sometimes he could make them laugh. He was an oddity. 
Seeing Bei Shishi reddened from Long Chen's gaze, Luo Bing smiled inside. That odd fellow Long Chen was something that even the number one beauty of the academy couldn't completely defend against. After that, Long Chen just looked at his own hands as if he had nothing to do. It was unknown what he was thinking. What about us? How should we prepare? asked Bei Shishi after a moment passed. No need. We just need to wait. We'll stall until Bei Ziaol returns, said Long Chen. How will we stall? The formations and maze won't last much longer. At most, they'll arrive here in four hours. Bei Shishi frowned. No problem. Leave it to me. At this moment, thin scales appeared on top of Long Chen's palms, and there were stars shining within those scales. Long Chen was silently circulating the power of his divine flames as a warm-up. Bei Shishi stopped disturbing him after that. Everyone then sat and circulated their power, making sure to stay in their peak condition. Time passed bit by bit. As Bei Shishi had calculated, they heard footsteps right as the fourth hour mark arrived. Those footsteps were intentionally let loose. The other side wanted Long Chen and the others to know that they were arriving. Bei Shishi, you slut. Come out and face your death. A voice rang out within the palace. Upon hearing this, the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples' expressions darkened. This voice belonged to Chu Yang. This person, who was like a loyal dog to Bei Shishi, actually dared to say such a thing here. Long Chen looked at Bei Shishi and saw golden runes revolving in her eyes. It seemed that Bei Shishi had been struck where it hurt. If this killing intent leaked, they would be instantly exposed. The wrath of divine venerate Brahma causes immortal blood to infect the starry river. Those who come have destiny. Life and death are decided by just a thought. Just at this moment, the entire palace vibrated. Long Chen's mouth was open, but what came out was the heaven merging stone spirit's terrifying voice. Chapter 3024 Dressing up as God, playing the devil as soon as Long Chen opened his mouth. Bei Shishi and the others jumped in shock. It was actually the voice of the heaven merging stone spirit. His voice shook the entire palace. Although he didn't release any divine pressure, just his voice was shocking enough. Long Chen had long since discussed it with the giant so that the latter would cooperate with him. And in order to thank Long Chen for his favor, the giant immediately agreed. As a result, even Long Chen's people jumped in shock. Welcome. You are the third group of invaders. There's no need to hide the truth. I can sense the aura of divine venerate Brahma on your bodies. Enter, said Long Chen. A group of people walked in. Just as they walked in, the place Long Chen was hidden suddenly became transparent. Bei Shishi and the others then jumped in shock, thinking that those people could now see them. However, this was actually the heaven merging stone spirit sharing his vision with them, allowing them to see what was happening outside. While those people couldn't see them, that group of people walked in with stunned expressions. They looked around nervously, trying to find the source of that voice. Their attention then landed on the corpses on the ground. Amongst that group, Long Chen saw several figures. He saw Chu Yang, Zhao Wuzhang, Zi Xianyu, as well as the square-faced Lu Chu Niang from the Nine Cauldron Church that Bei Shishi had given a beating last time. He also saw two other new faces. One man and one woman. The man was slender like a stick of bamboo. It seemed that he lacked any meat on his bones. Even when he walked, it was as if a gust of wind would blow him away. He was like a moving corpse. Not only was his body strange, but his face was also ugly. His face was covered in pockmarks, like a steamed bun covered in sesame seeds. He had triangular eyes and a large buck tooth. It was a face that made people not want to get a second look. As for the woman, she was tall with long hair and had a wooden staff in her hand. Originally, she could only be considered average in looks, but standing beside that man, she appeared much more brilliant. Long Chen smiled faintly. That man was Amethyst Heart Island's number one expert, Lu Zihao. As for the woman, she was the granddaughter of the leader of the Silver Moon City, the number one expert of the Silver Moon City's junior generation the one who called herself the beautiful lotus fairy, Jen Melian, the golden bell gates Zhao Wuzhang, the clear river palaces Zixianiu, the nine cauldron churches Lu Chunyang, the amethyst heart islands Lu Zihao, the silver moon cities Jen Melian, the top figures of the five powers had all gathered, ignorant junior, 
You dare to hide in front of this lord? Are you courting death? Demanded Long Chen coldly. Space twisted. The black-robed expert of the Blood Kill Hall revealed himself and hastily bowed. Junior was ignorant. Please forgive this offense. Zhao Wuzheng and the others were quivering in fear. They saw the countless terrifying corpses on the ground, and the voice of the heaven-merging stone spirit made them quake. This time, it finally realized that the voice wasn't coming from the corpses. Instead, it came from that giant statue. This lord has been standing guard here for millennia. I didn't expect the Divine Venerate's followers to come. Good. Very good. Long Chen was very pleased by their quivering states. The Heaven Merging Stone Spirit was truly a convenient existence to have around. Senior, you said that we are the third group of invaders. What happened to the previous two groups? Probed Chu Yang cautiously. Long Chen looked at Chu Yang and his heart clenched. He definitely saw a trace of doubt in his eyes. It seemed that he wasn't as stunned as the others. Did he know something? He replied. They were already executed by this lord. Executed Zhao Wuzheng and the others were stunned. Long Chen indifferently said, This lord has been here for countless years. Just to wipe out the disciples returning to the Starry River sect in search of treasures. If I didn't see that you had Lord Brahma's aura around many of them, I'd have long since killed you. Lord Brahma was a supreme existence even amongst gods. No one knew how old he was. However, Long Chen had a feeling that the Starry River sect was very likely implicated by its connection to the Nine Star Hegemon body art, resulting in its destruction. Although he couldn't say anything for sure, Chu Yang and the others were Lord Brahma's followers. For Long Chen to feign himself to be also one of Lord Brahma's subordinates would make it easier to gain their trust. Senior. Is Bei Shishi's corpse still present? Probed Chu Yang again. You speak of that white-robed girl with the metal energy? The pretty one? Asked Long Chen. Yes. Yes. Her. Do you still have her corpse? The Divine Venerate ordered us to kill her. We need to bring back her corpse. Said Chu Yang hastily. Long Chen rubbed his jaw and smiled. That girl was quite pretty. This lord might be a spiritual body. But I took a liking to her. I wanted her as a servant girl. Ah. Long Chen suddenly felt a sharp pain on his waist. And a hand was viciously pinching him. That hand looked weak yet was as hard as iron. He almost cried out. Bei Shishi was glaring at Long Chen and refused to let go. Clearly, she was not going to permit him to continue talking nonsense. Who knew whether he was going to say something even worse. Long Chen hastily raised his hands in surrender and swallowed his shout. Ah what a pity. But that girl was too stubborn and refused to surrender. I could only kill her along with the rest. She has already been turned to dust. Only then did Bei Shishi pull back her hand. Long Chen examined his waist and saw that the spot that she had pinched was already purple. He glared at her. Despite his tough physical body, this body that would not lose out to a spirit item had still been turned into this state. Bei Shishi's techniques were truly vicious. Bei Shishi cast a sideways glance at Long Chen's angry glare and acted like nothing had happened. What about that one called Long Chen? Asked Chu Yang. Are you an idiot? How would I know which one is Long Chen? I already said I killed them all. Are you deaf? Or do you want this lord to kill you with them? Roared Long Chen. This roar shook the entire palace. Chu Yang and the others quaked and stumbled. And blood gushed out of their ears. Their faces turned green. They were still unclear on what this existence was. It seemed to be some terrifying figure with a deep connection to Lord Brahma. But why would this existence suddenly unleash such an explosive temper on them? Seeing Long Chen angry and those experts outside shaking, Bei Shishi covered her mouth and laughed silently. Even Luo Bing and the others were shaking. Their previous nerves vanished. A pack of fools. If you weren't divine venerate Brahma's followers. This lord would have killed you instead of leaving the heaven merging divine elixir to you. Scolded Long Chen. Heaven merging divine elixir. Chu Yang and the others were surprised. Come over here. This lord will bless you with divine elixir. Long Chen indicated for Bei Shishi and the others to turn around. At first they didn't understand. But when they saw him starting to untie his pants. They immediately turned red and fled as far as they could. This vulgar bastard. Bei Shishi cursed inside. But at the same time, 
She surprisingly felt immense sympathy for Zhao Wuzheng and the others. Chapter 3025 Drink while it's hot hearing that this terrifying existence was bestowing them with heaven merging divine elixir. Chu Yang and the others were overjoyed. They all prostrated themselves towards the statue, waiting for it to fall. Just at this moment, from there the statue's hands were clasped together in a seal. Drops of dark yellow liquid slowly fell. This liquid emitted a strong medicinal scent. Upon seeing this, Zhao Wuzheng and the others hastily received it with their hands. Every person gets ten drops. Don't fight over it, rumbled Long Chen as he tightened his belt once more. He kicked the medicinal ball in front of him forward. There was a small hole in front of Long Chen that led to the hands of the statue. This was a stone statue, and the heaven-merging stone spirit was easily capable of changing its shape. It went without saying that the heaven-merging stone spirit truly listened to Long Chen. Hearing that they were getting ten drops, Chu Yang and the others were delighted. They took out jade bottles to store them. But in reality, every person ended up getting more than thirty drops. Many thanks. Great Senior cried out Chu Yang. There's no need for thanks. I am one of the Divine Venerate's subordinates. Divine General Huayao. This heaven-merging divine elixir is something I condensed from the essence of the world with the starry river sect's karmic luck. It possesses the almighty power to bring you closer to the heavens. It can give a dead person life. Extend your longevity. Nourish yin and strengthen yang. Activate all your meridians. This was clearly his piss mixed with some medicinal powders. Hearing him call it some almighty divine elixir. Bei Shishi and the others almost couldn't hold back their laughter. Our meeting is destiny. As we work for the Divine Venerate, there's no need to be courteous. Drink it while it's hot, urged Long Chen. While it's hot, Chu Yang and the others were a bit surprised. They didn't understand what that meant, but they drank the Divine Elixir. When they drank it, their expressions twitched. They frowned. The flavor was a bit strange. They glanced at each other, but no one dared to say anything. The Divine Elixir will activate your latent talent over the next hour and refresh your spirit, essence, and chi. Prepare yourselves to attack your bottlenecks. With your current cultivation basis, you will advance at least three levels, said Long Chen. Hearing that it had such a terrifying effect, Chu Yang and the others immediately sat cross-legged and prepared to welcome the medicinal effect. Seeing them acting so seriously, Zhang Ling and the others almost couldn't hold back. They covered their mouths with their hands, refusing to let their laughter escape. Bei Shishi looked at Long Chen's back speechlessly. This fellow was practically a devil. He was absolutely evil. If Chu Yang and the others realized what was happening, they would probably go insane. This was even worse than killing them. However, even after an hour passed, the medicinal effect didn't appear. It didn't appear even after two hours. After six hours. Chu Yang and the others were feeling that someone was off. But just at that moment, the jade plate on Long Chen's waist shook. Long Chen smiled. Bei Ziyol had arrived. Fine. It seems that the divine elixir was linked to the starry river sect's karmic luck. Too much time has passed. So its effect is lacking. But this lord won't be selfish with you. I'll give you all this divine elixir. If there's still no effect, then this lord also has nothing else. Long Chen waved his hand to Li Kei and the others. All the men immediately ran over. Bei Shishi and the others hastily turned around. As for the rest, they knew without looking. The divine elixir streamed out like a small river. Falling from the statue, a foul smell spread throughout the plaza. Chu Yang and the others suddenly realized that something was off. This divine elixir didn't have any medicinal fragrance. They looked up to see that the statue was gradually growing clear. Then they saw Long Chen's bright smile that looked as if he had been blessed by the heavens. Long Chen, Chu Yang roared furiously. Zhao Wuzhang, Zi Xian Iu, Lu Chu Niang, Zhen Milian, Lu Zi Hao, and that assassin of the blood kill hall all erupted with killing intent. Now is there enough divine elixir? Asked Long Chen. This time, it was his own voice. Long Chen, I'll tear you to pieces. Zhao Wuzhang roared and shot through the air. Unleashing a punch at the statue. Boom. The statue exploded. Having lost the murals and its own defensive formation being out of energy. It had lost any defensive power. Chu Yang and the others faces were contorted. They had drunk that divine elixir. 
If that news spread, then there would be no need for them to continue living. Die. Lu Chunyang took out a warhammer and smashed it at Long Chen. Its runes flashed, emitting shocking pressure. This was a terrifying divine item. The other experts also charged over. They felt like they were going insane. They had never imagined that they were being tricked by Long Chen. That was because they were all followers of Lord Brahma. The Starry River sect and this world's destruction were related to Lord Brahma. Their powers knew a bit about the Jilin Immortal Land's history. Although they didn't know the full story, they likely knew that the Starry River sect was destroyed due to Lord Brahma's orders. Furthermore, the first impression was the strongest. Long Chen had used the Heaven Merging Stone Spirit's voice to intimidate them. They really thought that some terrifying existence had been left here to make sure that no stragglers of the sect returned. The Heaven Merging Stone Spirit's voice in particular was so mighty that it felt like that pressure could easily crush them. That was why they hadn't even considered that it was a trickster. They hadn't doubted that divine elixir at all when it fell. They directly drank it. Now that the truth was revealed, everyone come out and slaughter them, roared Zishian Ayu. Countless disciples poured out of the passageway. Chu Yang waved his hand, and the prayer beads on his wrist glowed. Those corpses throughout the palace vanished as if they had been purified. Long Chen was startled. He looked at the prayer beads. He saw a figure carved into them. That was fallen day night. This was further evidence. Perhaps these devil kings were Lord Brahma or fallen day night subordinates. Otherwise, with Chu Yang's power, there was no way he dared to touch those corpses. After the corpses vanished, countless experts of the five powers filled the palace. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples as well as the disciples led by Luo Bing and Mu King Gaian charged out. This was the mission that Long Chen gave them. They just needed to handle those extras. The rest was left to him and Beishishi. Long Chen and Beishishi faced off against those seven experts. Lu Chunyang's attack was the first to arrive. His warhammer smashed towards Long Chen. This strike contained all of Lu Chunyang's killing intent and hatred. His hatred for Long Chen had already reached a level that couldn't be described with words. Why bother? I gave you my divine elixir. But you aren't even grateful. What thankless wretches. Long Chen sighed and shrugged his hands innocently. Boom. A golden sword struck Lu Chunyang's warhammer. It was Bei Shishi who blocked it. The entire palace trembled from the exchange. Dust fell from the roof as if the palace might collapse at any moment. Even a defeated general dares to act tough? Let's have a battle to the death here. Bei Shishi's white robes fluttered. Sword in hand. Countless golden runes flowed around her. She was like a golden war goddess, noble and untouchable. Chapter 3026 No more misjivings Beisha She instantly sent Lu Yanchang flying. The two of them had exchanged blows before this. Back then, even while holding back, Beisha She had managed to force Lu Yanchang to flee miserably. Now that she no longer had any misjivings, Lu Yanchang was instantly injured and stars spun in his eyes. He almost coughed up blood. Kill her together. Lu Yanchang roared. At the same time, runes lit up all over him, and the earth shook. Earth energy poured toward him. Just as he prepared to unleash one of his ultimate moves, his expression suddenly changed. The same was true for Zhao Wazhang, Zixian Ayu, Zhen Milian, and Lu Zihao. The plates on their waists were all flashing rapidly. That was a distress signal, and it meant that their disciples were currently facing a terrifying attack and the situation was extremely grave. You, Zhao Wuzheng stared in shock and fury at the pleased Long Chen. You wanted to trap us like turtles. I suppose you didn't expect to become the trapped turtles instead, said Long Chen. Bei Ziyol had made his move. The hundreds of thousands of the High Firmament Academy's disciples were wiping out the disciples of the five powers left to guard the way back. After Zhao Wuzheng found the pathway to this place, to save time, all their disciples also rushed in and probed the multiple forks in order to find Beishishi as fast as possible, as well as to find any treasures left behind. With the five powers gathered here along with the supreme assassin of the Bloodkill Hall, they had long since viewed Long Chen and Beishishi as trapped prey. Hence, they had only left a few thousand disciples at the entrance of the pathway. With over 500,000 disciples, Beishishi's side instantly wiped the guards out. They then entered the pathway. 
wreaking havoc on their disciples. With Baziol's spatial energy, he was able to clearly sense the positions of his enemies, so that cave system became his hunting ground. Moreover, since the exit was blocked, there was nowhere for them to run. Suddenly, screams rang out from this side as well. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples, as well as Mu Qingyan and Luo Bing's people charged out and into the passageway. Don't let them escape the five powers experts were startled. Without hesitation, they charged toward the exit. If these people managed to reach the exit, wouldn't all their disciples within the cave system be surrounded? Just as they passed through the exit, a giant golden ball exploded, sealing the exit. It unleashed countless roots that sank into the earth, completely sealing the path. The five powers experts were startled. This golden ball was clearly Beishishi's technique. It seemed that everything had been planned. With the exit sealed, a relaxed smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Just at that moment, as quick as lightning, Zhao Washeng unleashed a punch at Long Chen. Zhao Washeng hated Long Chen to the bone. He, the peerless heavenly genius of the Golden Bell Gate, had actually drunk another person's piss. That shame could not be permitted to spread outside. Right now, the only thing they could do was kill everyone here to cover up that shame. Long Chen smiled with his teeth. It seems that the divine elixir is effective. Even your face is turning yellow. Die. Zhao Washeng roared furiously. It was as if all his hatred was concentrated within his fist noveloon.com Long Chen also unleashed a fist, and specks of light appeared on it. They were like stars twinkling. His entire arm glowed like a starry dragon. Boom. Their two fists collided, causing the entire palace to shake. As a result, the roof began to fall apart and giant pieces of it fell. Astral winds erupted explosively from their two fists, like blades tearing apart the ground around them. Last time I let you escape. This time, I'll blast you apart. A vein throbbed on Zhao Washeng's forehead. At this moment, the armor covering his fist suddenly exploded and an immense power soared rapidly. Following that, people were shocked to find that the blood vessels of Zhao Washeng's arms were swelling. His arms grew thicker and thicker while those vessels were like serpents wriggling beneath his skin. As his power climbed, the palace shuddered even more dangerously. More and more pieces of the roof fell. At the same time, the experts of the five powers that had entered this room were buffeted by the astral winds. They were forced to hide behind those giant chunks of rock. This was the divine palace of the Starry River sect, and it was built using the best immortal materials. Although the formation had long since sucked away their divine essence, their weight and hardness were still shocking. Perhaps a fist-sized chunk of rock could weigh thousands of tons. As giant chunks fell like meteorites, these disciples were forced to flee from their cover, only to be buffeted by the astral winds. Some were killed in the resulting chaos. Long Chen and Zhao Washeng's fight continued. Meanwhile, the others grew hesitant when they saw this. Their original plan had been to target Beishishi together, but if they joined in as well, the chaos destroying the palace would guarantee that the hundreds of thousands of disciples that they had brought with them into this room would perish. These people were their elites, some were their family members, so they couldn't not care about them. Slot, is your high firmament academy only capable of playing sinister schemes? demanded the Silver Moon City's Gen Melian. The instant Gen Melian saw Beishishi, she was filled with jealousy. Compared to Beishishi, she was like a toad. Everything had clearly been planned by Beishishi and Long Chen. While the two of them drew everyone else's attention, the other faked pretending to prepare for battle, only to suddenly charge through the exit and seal it behind them. Now all the disciples that the five powers had brought were trapped here. Even Zhao Washeng and the others would need some time to break Beishishi's seal. Furthermore, Beishishi and Long Chen wouldn't just wait for them to break it. If they wanted to do so, they had to stop the two of them first. However, once they unleashed their full power, this palace would become a land of death. Other than a few of them, the others would be killed. This scheme was truly sinister. Normally, Beishishi would immediately attack Gen Melian, but today, her mood was particularly good. Rather than getting angry, she felt a trace of sympathy. She gained an even deeper understanding of Long Chen's sinister schemes. Despite seeming thoughtless, any random move from him could con people to death. Slot, 
Why aren't you speaking? Do you know that you're shameful and thus have no words? Raged Jen Melian. Bashishi shook her head. Someone who has drunk the piss of men isn't qualified to speak to me. You. Jen Melian's face contorted, and a venomous light appeared in her eyes. She then reached out behind her. Boom. Just at this moment, the fiercest astral wind so far shook the entire palace. Even Bashishi and the others were blown back. As for the other disciples of the five powers, quite a few were directly killed. When Bashishi was forced to retreat, out of nowhere, she suddenly slashed her golden sword behind her. A figure was cut in two, and that was the Blood Kill Hall's expert. He was completely shocked. With him hidden in space, no one should have been able to sense him, not giving him any chance. Bashishi's sword unleashed an explosion of golden light, cutting him into countless bloody pieces. Ha ha ha, well done. Now that this fellow is dead, there are no longer any misjivings. We can fight freely. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and unleashed a roar. His hair then fluttered madly, and silver scales covered his entire body. As the stars within those scales revolved, an aura that caused the nine heavens to shake climbed. Chapter 3027 Finally venting scales covered Long Chen's entire body. A star shone in every scale and every star had a flame burning on top of it. Right now, divine light filled the palace, and heaven and earth rumbled. What terrifying divine flame power! Beishishi stared in shock at Long Chen. She had never seen or even heard of someone's divine flame energy igniting from the surface of their body. After all, normal cultivators had their divine flame in their danshan. Its power was unleashed from the inside to guarantee that it didn't simply leak and dissipate in the outside world. If it was unleashed outside the body, the majority of that power would simply dissipate back into heaven and earth with no use at all. Boom. The one opposing Long Chen, Zhao Wazhang, was forced further and further back by this overwhelming power. Moreover, the entire palace began to crack, and it spread further and further. As Long Chen's explosive power ran rampant, the palace began to swell. No. The experts of the five powers inside the palace were horrified. Long Chen's aura was constantly rising, and they felt like they were crushed by that power. They were pressed against the stone walls, unable to move. The immense power was like a giant's foot pressing down on the bodies of ants. Those experts screamed in terror but were unable to change their fates. They were then crushed to bits. Only a few of the stronger ones were still able to persevere, but it didn't seem like they could last much longer. Zhao Wazhang, Zixian Iu, Chu Yang, and the others were shocked. Long Chen's power far exceeded their expectations. As for their side, that terrifying assassin had been easily dispatched by Bei Shishi. They no longer knew what to do. It had to be known that as long as the assassin was present, they could easily avoid being killed by Bei Shishi. His presence would be a constant worry for her. However, their plan had been seen through by Long Chen. He had also recognized the assassin to be the greatest threat amongst them. Whether it was Long Chen or Bei Shishi, if they had to focus all their power on their enemies, then a quick assassination attempt could easily give them a serious injury or even directly kill them. If they had to be on guard against the assassin, then they couldn't focus all their power fighting the others. Facing so many powerful experts, they would definitely be at a great disadvantage. That was why the assassin was Long Chen's first priority. When Long Chen had given them his divine elixir, the medicinal powder he had used didn't contain poison. Instead, it would make a person unconcealable. It could be considered a mark. He had told Bei Shishi about this special mark. That way, she could accurately tell where that assassin was. That assassin had hidden himself back within space after Long Chen revealed himself. However, that pitiful fellow was unaware that every single one of his movements was under Beishishi's gaze. His original goal had been to kill Beishishi, but after drinking the divine elixir, his rage made him change his target to Long Chen. Hence, when Long Chen was competing in terms of power with Zhao Wazhang, he intentionally gave the assassin a good chance. He unleashed an explosive power that blew back Beishishi and the others. When Beishishi was blown back right near him, with such a good opportunity, he immediately slipped his way over to her. However, just as that thought formed, Beishishi's sword cut him in two. This pitiful assassin, a supreme expert,
didn't even have a chance to attack or even report his name. He was killed like some random passerby. Just how sullen must he feel? Without that assassin, if they wanted to kill Long Chen and Bei Shishi, they could only use real power. However, Long Chen's full power was unleashing a qi wave that made it impossible for them to even approach him. As for their other disciples, they were being crushed. If the five of them added in their full power as well, other than them, everyone else in this room would be crushed to death. We can't continue like this. We must unleash our full power and kill Bei Shishi and Long Chen as fast as possible. The people within the cave system are being killed by them. Are you planning on saving these people here? Or the millions of people inside the cave system? Think wisely, shouted Chu Yang. They had brought a few hundred thousand people into the palace, but only 80,000 of them were still holding on. But in the cave system, millions of disciples were sending them distress signals. We can't care so much. Slaughter them. We can't be led by the nose by them. Zhao Wazhen clenched his teeth and charged forward. His blood chi fully ignited, forming a mist of blood around him. An angry roar resounded throughout the palace. It was like an ancient beast had awakened. The heavy pressure emitted by Zhao Wazhen instantly multiplied. As a result, the instant he clashed with Long Chen, the other disciples of the five powers despaired. Under both of their pressures, tens of thousands of them instantly exploded. Long Chen, face your death. This space was too small, and these disciples had nowhere to go. Amongst the disciples that were just flattened were some of Zhao Wazheng's relatives as well as his most trusted subordinates. But he couldn't protect them, so he could only place all this hatred on Long Chen. An ear-piercing sound wave exploded. It was like a divine hammer had just smashed into Long Chen. Against just you, Long Chen sneered. His entire body shone as if he was protected by astral battle armor. With the dragon scales, he was now already capable of controlling the divine flames of his stars. However, contrary to others, a majority of his power leaked through the air. That was not a matter of control. That was intentionally done because even with his dragon scales, he couldn't contain the full power of his 108,000 astral stars. He had to waste a portion to guarantee that he wouldn't be injured himself. Else, if that power was locked within him, he was worried that his own body would explode. Despite that, he could clearly feel their endless power. At this moment, he unleashed a powerful punch, his fist covered with astral light. Even space collapsed in front of this punch. Boom. Space shattered from the immense power, and the palace collapsed. Dust and smoke erupted. Even the very earth was torn apart. Bei Shishi, Zi Xianayu, Chu Yang, Lu Yunchang, Zhen Milian, and Lu Zihao's figures shot out of the dust. Chu Yang and the others were shocked. As for Bei Shishi, she was pleasantly surprised. She hadn't expected Long Chen to be so powerful. The pressure that she was under lightened a great deal now. The two of them together were enough to fight the six of them. Ha ha ha. Long Chen stood in the air, laughing. Astral light shone from his whole body, and he was like a celestial god of war. I've been stifled for a long time, but I can finally vent. Today, I'll use your blood to write the section of Boss Long San's Rise. Chapter 3028 Bloodline Summoning the emotions that Long Chen had been suppressing for so long erupted along with his power. The feeling of having power but not being able to unleash it was stifling. It couldn't be described with words. Now that he had gained an insight from the Starry River Sage, he was using his dragon scales as his buffer. A portion of his power dissipated outside, while a portion stayed inside. Now he was finally capable of fighting with the power of the Divine Flame Realm. Shameless boasting, you're only fit to carry my shoes. Zhao Wazhen roared. As the palace collapsed, the disciples inside were directly killed. Hence, he no longer had any misjivings. With a beast-like roar, he charged at Long Chen. You're only fit to drink my piss, said Long Chen disdainfully. He was still immersed in the beautiful feeling of controlling the power of his stars. Fuck you. Zhao Wazhen let out a string of curses, and his face contorted with rage. So many veins popped on his forehead that his comrades were worried that his head might suddenly explode. Zhao Wazhen's beast-like roar caused a giant illusory image to appear behind him. It was unclear but it was filled with the aura of an ancient desolate beast. 
That wild bloodline power caused heaven and earth to change color. Zhao Wushen then unleashed a punch. In that instant, the illusory image vanished, seemingly sucked into his fist. Even before his fist landed, the earth already collapsed. This was an exceedingly ancient divine ability. Let me tell you, Boss Long San has always been fond of teaching people who think that they are very strong just what true power is. With a bright light in his eyes, Long Chen's own astral power poured into his fist. The light coming from his body was like a sun. It was blinding. Boom. Within that blinding light, a giant explosion occurred. One figure was then sent flying, smashing deep into the ground. Cracks spread throughout the land as far as they could see. You dare to challenge Boss Long San? Do you think that you're qualified up in the sky? Long Chen was surrounded by revolving stars. Like a war god, the sight of him shook people's hearts. Even Bei Shishi was shocked. The current Long Chen was like a completely different person to her. It was like a devil god had torn off his disguise and revealed his true self. The stars revolved with Long Chen at the center, leaving ripples through space. Moreover, that space twisted wildly simply due to Long Chen's existence. It was as if all deos were bowing toward him. It was unspeakably wild and domineering. This was a powerful image, one that was completely different from his normal self, to the point that even Bei Shishi's heart fluctuated slightly. It went without saying that Long Chen truly possessed an extremely coarse and wild flavor. She had seen plenty of handsome men, but it was her first time seeing someone who looked to be filled with wildness. Long Chen, just at that moment, a furious roar came from underground like a curse from hell. That voice was filled with bloody resentment. Zhao Wuzheng then came flying out of the ground. His current state was rather miserable. One of his arms was a bloody mess, and his forearm was broken. Blood dripped down from him. Bei Shishi couldn't help feeling surprised when she saw Zhao Wuzheng. He was truly worthy of being the number one figure of the Golden Bell Gates Jr. generation. Anyone else would have been flattened by such a terrifying blow. But it seemed that he was still fine. Bei Shishi suddenly realized that Zhao Wuzheng specialized in countering her. As a metal cultivator, she was skilled in offense and defense. But her offense was not overwhelming enough. In a one against one, she would not fear someone like Zhao Wuzheng. But in a group battle, Zhao Wuzheng's power would become her greater hindrance. Killing intent then filled her heart. Suddenly. She had a thought. Could it be? She then looked at Long Chen, the man that she couldn't see through. Long Chen had previously told her that they had to eliminate the assassin from the blood kill hall, or that would be the greatest threat against both of them. Thinking back, whether it was the assassin or Zhao Wuzhang, they were all specialized to target her. As for Long Chen, he was specifically picking them off. Was he fighting Zhao Wuzhang specially to reduce the threat toward her? Thinking of that, Ripples appeared in her heart. She was no fool. Just from some faint clues, she understood Long Chen's thinking. Today, either you die or I die. Zhao Wuzhen glared at Long Chen. At some point, his pupils had become vertical like a viper's. The wounds on his arm rapidly healed. At the same time, motley marks appeared over Zhao Wuzhen's body. Fangs then appeared out of his mouth, and a tail appeared on his back. He became a monster in the blink of an eye. That was not the aura of a human. It'll definitely be you dying. Long Chen looked at him indifferently. As if this transformation was nothing to him. He clasped his hands behind him and waited. Long Chen. Careful. That's the immemorial eight devil's bloodline divine ability. He is summoning his bloodline heroic spirit to possess him. Warned Bei Shishi suddenly. Long Chen smiled slightly. I know. With his current realm and that faint bloodline. Summoning a heroic spirit to possess him will only let him last a few minutes. After that, his life will be over. The backlash will take his life. However, I don't need to interrupt him. I did say that I would beat him in his strongest area so that he would be fully convinced in death. Then he'll know what true power is. Long Chen simply stood there, allowing Zhao Wuzheng to transform. The latter was now covered in black fur, and his nails were like knives. Two of his fangs gave off a cold light. Most terrifying of all were his eyes. There seemed to be something moving within his eyes. And it was exceedingly bizarre. Long Chen. You'll regret your foolishness. Zhao Wuzheng opened his mouth. Causing everyone to jump. That was not his voice. 
It was as if the immemorial eight devil had come to life, giving off a devilish pressure. Chapter 3029 The confident Zhao Wuzheng The current Zhao Wuzheng had fully transformed into a giant. He had been especially talented even as a child, with a strangely good aptitude. Hence, his family always focused on raising him with their full power. His physical body was absolutely terrifying, and even when he was a youth, his name had spread far and wide. Later he was discovered by the head of the Golden Bell Gate and taken as his disciple. His master then gave him the Golden Bell Gate's priceless immemorial eight devil's essence blood for him to merge with. Zhao Wuzheng worked hard, spending three years merging with that essence blood. During these three days, he spent day and night tormented by that devil blood. Although he managed to merge with it in the end, it also affected his character. His temper grew more explosive, and he became easy to anger. He would kill someone at the slightest offense. Other than a few higher-ups in the Golden Bell Gate, no one dared to offend him. Being tricked into drinking Long Chen's divine elixir and facing setback after setback had completely enraged him. He no longer cared about the consequences. Hence, he unleashed that devil bloodline, summoning an ancient heroic spirit to bring his power to the absolute limit. However, with his current cultivation base, doing so would result in a terrifying price. He had to end the battle before all his essence blood was ignited. If he could preserve a bit of power, he could at least defend against the backlash and avoid death. He had black fur on his skin and fangs protruding out of his mouth. He then glared at Long Chen with his viper eyes. His aura was completely devilish, very frightening. At this moment, he was no longer Zhao Wuzheng but a monster possessed by the Devil Ape. The aura of the immemorial Ape Devil filled this world, as if they had been transported back in time to when the Devil Apes reigned supreme. That aura was ancient, desolate, cruel, and bloodthirsty, making people's souls quiver. All the life forms of that era were frightening. Legend was that the human race of that era was at the bottom of the food chain. It was those beasts that were the true overlords of that time. Zixian Ayu, Lu Chunyang, Zhen Milian, Lu Zihao, and Chu Yang were shocked. Although they had heard that Zhao Wuzheng had a terrifying trump card and their elders had sternly warned them not to offend him, they hadn't expected it to reach this level. But along with that shock, there was a trace of disdain. There was no question as to Zhao Wuzheng's power, but he was truly foolish. Everyone was supposed to join forces against Bei Shishi and Long Chen, but in his anger, Zhao Wuzheng had started burning away his own life without worry. Even if he killed Long Chen and Bei Shishi, that terrifying price might cripple him. No matter how strong he was, someone without a brain wasn't worth fearing. Hence, the rest of them were happy to watch as Zhao Wuzheng killed himself fighting Bei Shishi and Long Chen. They would be the ones to benefit. Furthermore, they had a valid excuse for not fighting. When they had first gathered, Zhao Wuzheng had told them not to interfere in his battle, or he would kill without differentiating friends or foes. Noveloon.com Those words had almost caused Lu Chunyang and Lu Zihao to turn hostile. After all, they were all peak heavenly geniuses with their own dignity. Zhao Wuzheng's domineering words had insulted them. Thus, they were a bit delighted to see him throwing away his life like this. They didn't help. Chu Yang and the others simply watched, and Bei Shishi was the same. She didn't know what they were thinking, but as long as they didn't interfere, it would be her and Long Chen benefiting. After all, one against one would definitely be easier than two against six. Furthermore, Bei Shishi found that Long Chen's expression was still calm as if Zhao Wuzheng's transformation didn't bother him at all. At the same time, she noticed that the stars around him were moving according to some mysterious rhythm. With every revolution of the stars, their auras condensed a bit more. Although she didn't know what Long Chen was doing, based on the current state, this was more favorable to them. Holding her golden sword, she simply stood in the sky to keep an eye on the others. Zhao Wuzheng moved, stamping on the air. At the same time, the void rumbled as if he was stamping on ice, and a strange sound rang out. A footprint was left in the sky, and it lasted for a long time before fading. An ancient heroic spirit, someone whose spirit was not distinguished despite having their flesh destroyed. A single drop of essence blood can be the carrier that summons the will of the heroic spirit. As expected, 
the life forms of the archaic era cannot be comprehended by the current era, said Long Chen as he looked at Zhao Wazhang. The immemorial eight devil's name was just a generic term for certain devil eight life forms. The devil ape's aura that came from Zhao Wazhang might be powerful, but there was no legendary manifestation that followed it. Hence, Long Chen judged that the essence blood Zhao Wazhang had obtained came from a devil ape of the archaic era. Even if it was just from the archaic era, it was still so terrifying. It was able to summon the undying will of its master. This showed just how terrifying the experts of that era were. Growing afraid now is useless. What awaits you is death. Zhao Wazhang stepped forward, his voice rough and icy, as if his voice was transmitted from the archaic era. Long Chen narrowed his eyes and suddenly thought of himself. Should he also think of obtaining some essence blood to strengthen himself? His azure dragon essence blood came from the lower plane. If he obtained true dragon essence blood from the immortal world, how much would it strengthen the dragon blood battle armor? A hundred times? Thousand times? Ten thousand times? Seeing that Long Chen didn't reply, Zhao Wazhang's black furry face smiled sinisterly. He slowly extended his hand. Blood marks appeared on his nails. His fingernails swept through the air lightly, and a sharp whistling sound rang out. Long scars were left in the space wherever his nails passed. It was as if the void had been torn open, and it was a long while before the scars healed. When I summon the ancient heroic spirit, I am unrivaled. Even my sect's elders aren't a match for me. So against you, I just need one move. A few minutes? That would be as long as 10,000 years for you. As for that backlash, it's negligible to me. It won't harm my foundation. Those idiots are just like you and think I'm a fool. If it weren't for the gate master's orders, I'd kill them along with you, said Zhao Wazhang, his gaze passing across Zishai and Iyu and the others. That sinister light in his eyes made their hearts shiver. Their thinking had actually been seen through by Zhao Wazhang. Furthermore, it seemed that this wasn't his first time summoning this ancient heroic spirit, and that everything was still within his control. Have a taste of death, ignorant and Zhao Wazhang suddenly accelerated. Like a black meteorite, he charged toward Long Chen. Black ripples spread throughout this entire space and Devil Chi Sword. Chapter 3030 Devil 8 Tears Apart the Heavens Devil 8 Tears Apart the Heavens. Zhao Wazhang roared and spread his claws. As a result, the void twisted and tore, shredded like paper. Everyone was stunned. Zhao Wazhang was still in the Divine Flame Realm. Wasn't it said that someone would only be able to tear through the void barehanded at the Divine King Realm? Was this to say that he already possessed power on the level of the Divine King Realm? An insignificant trick. You can't even tear apart that layer of heaven and earth. How do you plan on tearing apart the heavens? Long Chen sneered and pressed his palms together. The stars around him revolved, and the spatial tearing stopped in front of him. At this moment, they realized that what Zhao Wazhang had torn apart was not the void. Instead, it seemed to be a layer of something like paper that covered this world's laws. Despite that, this divine ability was still terrifying. If the laws of heaven and earth were like the table, then people were the cats crawling on top of the table. Zhao Wazhang had used some ancient power to stick a piece of paper on the table beneath them. When the paper was torn, the table remained unaffected but the people standing on top of it instantly felt like they were thrown into chaos. If that tearing had reached him, Long Chen would also have been torn apart. That was an extremely bizarre divine ability. In the current world, such a thing was almost non-existent. However, Long Chen had still seen through it. When he pressed his hands together, it was like two starry skies were merged together, forcibly preventing the tearing. Zhao Wazhang was rather unlucky. Long Chen was only able to fully control a portion of his power, while the rest was leaking into the air. When Zhao Wazhang tore apart the void, Long Chen could use his leaking power to stop it. Zhao Wazhang continued to attack, his claws unleashing tears through the void at Long Chen. However, no matter what he did, those tears were unable to progress past 10 meters in front of Long Chen. My guess would be that your immemorial eight devil's essence blood is impure and due to how much time has passed, it was not perfectly preserved. Most of its divine essence has already faded, resulting in its power dropping. Otherwise, someone like you wouldn't have had the ability to merge with it. 
you are managing to use one of the immemorial eight devils and eight divine abilities, but the blood soul power is too weak, while your own power is trash. Perhaps this incomplete divine ability could work against novices, but against boss Long San. Haha, <laughs> it's useless, said Long Chen indifferently as if this devilized Zhao Wazhen was nothing to him. Bullshit, Zhao Wazhen roared, and strange marks appeared on his arms. His blood chi once more erupted to another level. Suddenly, a sound like jewelry shattering rang out from the void. The void in front of Long Chen wasn't torn apart, but cracks shot past him to his left and right. However, even as the void was torn apart, it wasn't able to harm Long Chen in the slightest, proving his words. What was being apart was just a layer on the surface of the void, but it was a chaotic sight. Die. Seeing that this move was useless, Zhao Wazheng shot forward like a black bolt of lightning, unleashing a punch. You are nothing more than someone for me to test my power on. You don't know your own limits. Long Chen snorted and also stepped forward. The stars around him revolved rapidly, forming a giant whirlpool. Boom. The two of them clashed, and a twisting eruption of astral light and black devil chi spread. At this moment, Bei Shishi formed a one-handed seal. The golden runes around her world and formed a solid shield in front of her. Rubble battered her shield, and that tough shield actually almost cracked. Countless small craters appeared on it. Bei Shishi's heart shook. Both of them had reached a shocking level. This was the result of already being quite far away. If they were closer, this defense wouldn't have blocked that monstrous power. Meanwhile, Zixian Ayu, Chu Yang, and the others also blocked but they were blown back wretchedly. The very terrain was changed, with the world looking as if someone had used a blade to cut off a layer of it. When looking at this new world, all that could be seen was destruction. At the end of her vision, Bei Shishi saw the ground split open. That was Bei Ziaol's group. The cave system had collapsed from their exchange. The five powers experts had scattered throughout the cave system in small groups allowing Bei Ziaol to easily lead the Academy's experts to them and slaughter them. With his spatial energy, he was easily able to pinpoint their locations. However, when the cave system collapsed, they were shocked. Just as they thought that they were exposed, they saw Long Chen fighting Zhao Wazhang. The sight of that fight ignited Bei Ziaol's blood. Brothers, work hard. Quickly slaughter the leftovers so we can watch the show. Bei Ziaol hastily gave the orders to finish the mission that Long Chen had given him. He wanted to watch. With the terrain completely transformed, those underground passageways were now exposed. Quite a few of the survivors from the Five Powers tried to charge out. However, Bei Ziaol quickly formed hand seals. Another area split open, and Mu Qingyan and the others charged out as well. Big Sister Qingyan, split your troops in two. One group hunts down the pigs underground, while another catches the rats that sneak out, shouted Bei Ziaol. Bei Ziaol was also able to track Mu Qingyan and the others, so he dragged them out to help. After all, Long Chen's orders were to wipe out all of their enemies. If one ran away, he wouldn't be able to explain himself to Long Chen. After all, this was Long Chen's first time giving him a mission. He didn't want Long Chen to look down on him. Because of it, Mu Qingyan and Luo Bing led their disciples out, while the disciples of the Heaven Female Alliance stayed underground to hunt the leftovers. On the other side, Long Chen was still fighting Zhao Wazhang, with neither side able to suppress the other. With every exchange, the world shuddered. As waves of destruction passed through the land, more underground passageways were exposed, and more experts tried to flee. Luo Bing, Mu Qingyan and the others couldn't keep an eye on Long Chen's side. With Bei Ziaol guiding them, they hunted the disciples of the Five Powers. Seeing their disciples being slain, Zixian Ayu, Lu Chunyang, Zhen Milian, and Lu Zihao charged over. However, just at that moment, golden pillars soared into the sky, forming a giant get around this battlefield. Do you want to come one by one or all together? Asked Bei Shishi. Standing in their path like a war goddess Novaloon.com CM kill her, shouted Chu Yang, a sharp glint appearing in his eyes. The prayer beads on his wrist glowed, and he charged out first. However, just at that moment, a figure smashed toward him like a shooting star, startling him and forcing him to dodge. Boom. 
A person smashed into the ground, lying there weakly. His body was already deformed, his bones broken and his eyes listless. Zhao Wuzhang, Chu Yang and the others were appalled. This half-dead person in front of them was Zhao Wuzhang. They hastily looked over at Long Chen. Chapter 3031 New Divine Ring Power Up in the Sky Long Chen was surrounded by stars, and a six-colored ring of light spun behind him. As it spun, the void trembled. A supreme will that superseded the 10,000 Daos shook the land. This was Long Chen's first time summoning his divine ring after igniting the divine flames of his stars. The energy of heaven and earth was sucked into the divine ring for Long Chen to control. It was as if he was the master of the world. At this moment, Long Chen understood that the nine star hegemon body art had two sources of power. The inner power came from his astral power, while the external power came from his divine ring. When his astral power merged with the power of the immortal world, his blood flow quickened. It was as if 10,000 horses were stampeding through his body, like a tsunami was coursing through him. He felt a slight ache in his flesh when he summoned the divine ring. Clearly, although he had finally grasped the method to use his divine flames, his current physical body was barely able to contain this power. Despite that, the power of his fist contained apocalyptic power, and it almost killed Zhao Wuzheng directly. Now, Black ripples continued to spread through the void. That was Zhao Wuzheng's immemorial eight devil's aura. Zhao Wuzheng's ancient heroic spirit has been shattered. Chu Yang and the other's expressions changed. That ancient heroic spirit was a terrifying existence from the archaic era that had left behind their undying will. But it had been broken by Long Chen? Seeing how heavily injured Zhao Wuzheng was, Zixian Iyu suddenly shot over to him and pressed a hand on him covering him with a layer of water to heal his injuries slowly. In just a moment, Zhao Wuzheng's listless eyes slowly grew bright once more. He was pulled back from the border of death. However, while he didn't die, his wounds couldn't be healed quickly. Zixian Iyu's heart grew cold. His water energy was trying to heal his wounds. But as soon as those wounds healed, they automatically broke again. It was as if there was some kind of low resting within these wounds that was sharply reducing his healing ability. Although they all disliked Zhao Wuzhang, their current situation was not very favorable. So every bit of power that they could preserve counted. Long Chen's divine ring slowly revolved. Three of the six colors spun clockwise, and the other three spun counterclockwise. It was as if they were manifesting the mysteries of the 10,000 Daos. As the divine ring spun, the pain in Long Chen's body gradually lessened. He slowly got used to this merger of two kinds of power. Before this, controlling just the astral power was already taxing for him, and he had to abandon over half of it. Now that two kinds of power were merging, he had to throw away even more. But he had to do this in order to grasp the secrets of the nine-star hegemon body art. Due to wasting 90% of his power and expelling it into the air, from a distance. Long Chen looked like a blazing sun. Ripples continuously poured out of him, crashing against heaven and earth, as if this world could not contain him. Because of this phenomena, others were unable to see clearly. They didn't know what was going on. But if this manifestation was already so terrifying, wouldn't Long Chen be absolutely horrifying? Even after summoning an ancient heroic spirit, Zhao Wuzheng was still almost killed by a single punch from him. Just who was a match for him? Boss is mighty. In the distance, Bei Ziaol shouted excitedly. Seeing how domineering Long Chen was, he felt like he was the one standing out. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu Qingyan also couldn't help staring at him as they hunted down the remnants of the five powers. They were excited as well. Long Chen was growing more and more powerful, more and more terrifying. What are you all staring blankly for? Hurry up and kill yourselves. Are you waiting for Boss Long San to personally do it? Demanded Long Chen coldly at Zixian Iyu and the others. Zixian Iyu and the others were enraged. But Chu Yang sneered. Long Chen, give up the act. Your current power isn't under your control at all. This manifestation might be shocking. But your power is completely scattered. At most, you can control 10 to 20% of the power you're showing. Furthermore, all this energy is being wasted. How long can you last like this? If you think you can trick me, you are still too immature. 
Zixian Iyu and the others realized that Chu Yang was telling the truth. They now sensed Long Chen's weakness. It truly was as Chu Yang said. If a person's body was like a water reservoir, the power they could control would be like the valve at the bottom of the dam. The greater the control, the smaller the valve. With the smaller valve, the water sped through it faster due to the pressure. On the opposite end of the spectrum, with the larger valve, although more water flowed out, the weaker pressure meant that it lacked destructive power. Long Chen's current state was like a reservoir where the water was gushing out of the top. Although the amount was shocking, its destructive power wasn't so great. Such an obvious fact had actually been covered up due to just how shocking Long Chen's current aura was, along with the fact that Long Chen had crushed Zhao Wuzheng in one blow. That fear had caused them to lose their wits temporarily. Who would have thought that the Chu family's people actually had some brains? So you noticed. But even if a lion can't control his own power, do you think a pack of rabbits can do anything to him? Long Chen smiled Novaloon.com Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Do you really think that you're the only one with trump cards? Chu Yang showed off his prayer beads. I know you have trump cards, but it's too bad that you don't have the brain capacity to use them. Do you realize that you missed your only chance to kill me? Asked Long Chen. Is that so? Chu Yang was equally calm, speaking neither quickly nor slowly. Do you remember when we first entered the Jilin Immortal Land? At that time, I beat you so badly you couldn't even counterattack. In the end, you fled miserably, and if it weren't for that old bastard Chu Hua Iron, you would already be dead, said Long Chen. HMPH. So what? That was nothing more than an accident. I won't give you another chance, snorted Chu Yang. No, you've given it to me. I had a fortuitous encounter in the underground palace and learned how to control my power. But mastering this new method required time. While fighting Zhao Wuzhang, I slowly grew familiar with my power, increasing my power step by step. If you had all directly attacked at the start instead of just watching, I really might have died full of regrets here, unable to unleash the power in my body. Now you no longer have the ability to kill me. What awaits you is only death said Long Chen. Oh really? I disagree. Your life is mine. Chu Yang smiled. His previous panic and confusion vanished, replaced with calm. That calmness was due to absolute confidence, as if everything was under his control. Oh? Does your confidence stem from fallen day night? Asked Long Chen. Chu Yang's confident expression instantly vanished. He stared in shock at Long Chen. Chapter 3032 Day Night Armor Fallen Day Night was as famous as Lord Brahma, and his name shook the nine heavens and ten lands. He was said to be the ancestor of pill tools, but only a few had knowledge in that regard. Contrary to Lord Brahma, Fallen Day Night had fewer believers. Fallen Day Night's believers were all picked out from amongst Lord Brahma's believers. As a result, even amongst Lord Brahma's followers, not many people even knew about Fallen Day Night's appearance. Hence, Chu Yang was startled when Long Chen called out his name. It had to be known that on the surface, he merely appeared to be one of Lord Brahma's disciples but was actually one of Fallen Day Night's followers. Even within the Chu family, the number of people aware of this did not surpass 10. But Long Chen had seen through it. Long Chen sneered. Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night, one stood in the open. One stayed in the dark, but they were both snakes and rats from the same pit. He had seen the statue of Fallen Day Night in the lower plane and was familiar with his aura. Curiously, here in the immortal world, he was unable to find any inheritances left behind by Fallen Day Night. But those prayer beads had a figure carved into them, and Long Chen was very familiar with Fallen Day Night's appearance. No need to be curious. I am a heaven master of the High Firmament Academy. If I didn't at least have this little ability, how could I participate in the Nine Prefecture Convention? Long Chen continued. It is precisely because I saw through you that I worked together with this pretty girl to first kill that fellow from the Blood Kill Hall and then cripple Zhao Wuzhang. Can you not understand? You, Chu Yang finally grew uneasy. Long Chen seemed to have seen through everything, and the entire battle seemed to be in his control. Hence, Chu Yang's heart sank. I know you're very powerful and have immense trump cards. If we couldn't knock them down one by one, the ones to die today would be the two of us. 
But now, that dislikable assassin is dead, and the only one who can threaten the pretty girl, Zhao Wuzhang, is crippled. The battlefield has been balanced. Now I can freely experience the methods of fallen day night. Long Chen stretched lazily, a crackling sound ringing from his bones. Hearing that, Bei Shishi was startled. Long Chen's calculations went so deep, but the truly surprising thing was that someone she had never cared about, Chu Yang, would be the strongest existence here. It seemed that all the preparation that Long Chen had made in advance was just so that he could fight Chu Yang freely. Also, it was all to reduce the pressure on her. Pretty girl, I can only do this much. It should be no problem for you to handle the other five, right? Asked Long Chen, rolling his shoulders as if he was warming up. I'm called Bei Shishi. Call me that again and I'll beat you to death. Shouted Bei Shishi. Despite being a bit moved by Long Chen's methods, his actual words still angered her. He had actually given her a nickname? Ha ha ha. It sounds like it should be no problem. Then, let's start. Long Chen suddenly shot out at Chu Yang, moving so fast that he was like a phantom. Day night armor. The 18 prayer beads around Chu Yang's wrist dispersed and formed a ring behind him. After that, golden armor appeared around his body. Boom. Long Chen's fist landed right on Chu Yang's armored chest. As a result, a brilliant explosion erupted and the entire world shuddered. Chu Yang was sent flying. But shockingly, the fist that almost killed Zhao Wuzhen was received by Chu Yang. The slight dent in the armor quickly repaired itself. Ha ha ha, I was right. Most of your power is simply dispersing. You can't even break my day-night armor. Today, you will be buried in this Jilin immortal land. Chu Yang suddenly laughed. Although Long Chen's blow had shaken him, he had still managed to block it. Hence, a weight fell from his heart. Ignorant fool. You will never understand just how great Divine Venerate Day Knight's power is. With his confidence inflating, Chu Yang's armor glowed, and a pair of divine feather wings appeared on his back. He charged at Long Chen. Boom. However, Long Chen's foot landed on his stomach midway, sending him flying in the opposite direction. Who does Fallen Day Knight think he is to dare act arrogantly in front of Ba San? Asked Long Chen. He unleashed a tempest of attacks. Chu Yang blocked with all his powers, but his close-range fighting skills with his fists and feet were far inferior compared to Long Chen. Long Chen unleashed ten blows, and he was only able to block three. The rest landed on his body. He didn't even have the ability to counterattack. Every blow left a dent in his armor. In just a short moment, Chu Yang was struck dozens of times by fists and feet, but he didn't seem injured. Ha ha ha, fool, you can't do anything to me. My day-night armor can block any attack. Have you not noticed that a portion of your attack power is absorbed, and the other portion is further dispersed into the void? I'm only enduring a very small part of it. The day-night armor can only be summoned with pure faith energy. It is not made of metal but composed of the weaving laws of heaven and earth. Even if you hit me for ten years, you wouldn't be able to break it. Even without me doing anything, you will quickly exhaust yourself to death. Chu Yang laughed as he received Long Chen's attacks. Just at this moment, explosions erupted in the distance. There, golden light flashed, water chi soared, and earth energy thronged. Bei Shishi's side had also started fighting. It was Bei Shishi who initiated things. Chu Yang's armor was too monstrous, and if Long Chen was unable to break it, then once he was out of energy, he would be doomed. She had to quickly kill all these people so she could go assist him. Golden runes revolved within her beautiful eyes. The next moment, a giant golden dragon flew out of the ground, and golden swords flew in the air. This area became a land of death. Zixian Ayu, Lu Chunayang, Zhen Milian, Lu Zihao, and the just barely recovered Zhao Wuzhen hastily fought back. Careful, Zixian Ayu shouted, just as they pounced on Bei Shishi. They found that Bei Shishi had suddenly appeared behind Zhao Wuzhang. Her sword slashed toward him. Zhao Wuzhang roared and unleashed a punch with the trace of power he had recovered. And beyond everyone's wildest imagination, Bei Shishi and her golden sword were blasted into golden bits. What Zhao Wuzhang and the others were startled. Suddenly, Zhao Wuzhang felt a chill behind him. Just as he turned, a golden sword stabbed through his back. The instant it stabbed through his body. 
he turned the same color as the sword, becoming a golden statue, with a light pad from an elegant hand, that statue exploded. The Golden Bell Gates number 1 Jr. was turned into gold dust. Chapter 3033 Day Night Divine Radiance Zhao Wushen was already seriously injured, while it went without saying that he was extremely powerful. Regretfully, he had run into Long Chen. Long Chen had immense combat experience and was even specialized in close-range combat. When he and Zhao Wushen were fighting a battle of physical bodies, when Long Chen grasped a chance, he gave Zhao Wuzheng a serious wound. Hence, that wound contained Long Chen's astral power, which made it so that even an expert water cultivator like Zishai Anaya was unable to quickly heal him. After that, Bei Shishi didn't give him any chance. Her first target was him, and he instantly fell. It's a cloning art. Zishai Anaya and the others suddenly realized that they had been tricked. Due to being injured, Zhao Wuzheng had chosen to stay at the rear. By the time Zishai Anayu and the others charged forward, Bei Shishi's true body had already been concealed, while her clone baited Zhao Wuzhang. That clone was not simply an illusory image, it possessed its own physical body. It was only once Zhao Wuzhang broke it apart that he realized that he had fallen for a trap. Don't hold back, kill her. Zishai Anayu ignited his essence blood, and two coiling water dragons shot out of him, attacking Bei Shishi. Lu Chunyang clenched his teeth and suddenly spat a mouthful of blood onto his Warhammer. His Warhammer seemed to awaken, as if an ancient beast was disturbed. With blazing divine light, it smashed toward Bei Shishi. Zhen Melian and Lu Zihao also took out their trump cards. A full moon curved blade and a supreme divine diagram appeared. Both of them were awoken and charged toward Bei Shishi with destructive power. They had no choice but to do so. Bei Shishi was too powerful. Without Chu Yang, Zhao Wuzhang, and the Blood Kill Hall's assassin, the four of them could easily die if they messed up. They couldn't hope for Chu Yang's assistance either. Bei Shishi had specifically chosen to take action because she felt the situation wasn't favorable, and she wanted to kill them to help Long Chen if they wanted to stay alive. They had to go all out. With the four of them unleashing their power, they were not that much weaker than Zhao Wuzhang. As Bei Shishi's golden swords danced, the golden dragon beneath her feet roared, and a torrent of golden swords rained down upon them. Both sides were relatively evenly matched Novaloon.com cm the ground slowly fell as they fought. The terrain of this area deformed, and astral winds with broken runes flew out, shocking Luo Bing and the others. This is a battle between peak experts? We can't even get close. Luo Ning stared in shock, her face pale, despite being in the divine flame realm as well. The difference was immense. Retreat, shouted Bei Ziaol suddenly. What Luo Bing and the others were still guarding the caves, preventing the disciples of the five powers from escaping. Why would they retreat? Boom. A group of women charged out, their white robes scarlet with fresh blood. It was the warriors of the Heaven Female Alliance. Run. As soon as they appeared, they fled. Luo Bing and the others could only follow. As he ran, Bei Ziaol shouted. Boss says to run as far as possible. Ignore the leftovers. Why? Shouted Luo Ning, pulling on Bei Ziaol. Do you need to ask? Look at your own waste plate. Bei Ziaol pointed. Only then did Luo Bing and the others notice a rune flashing rapidly on those plates. Time's almost up. Luo Bing and the others were startled. They had been so immersed in the fighting that they hadn't even noticed. This indicated that their temporary stay in the Jilin Immortal Land was almost up. The exit would open soon, and they had to pass through it. The transportation rune was originally with Long Chen, but he had given it to Bei Ziaol to look after. In other words, wherever Bei Ziaol was when the time was up would be where the transportation gate would open. Then can't they leave as well? Weren't we supposed to wipe them out? Asked Luo Ning. How am I supposed to know? Boss told me what to do. So that's what I'm doing. You women are so vexing, exclaimed Bei Ziaol irritably, feeling that Luo Ning was too long-winded. Just as he said this, she kicked him. Bei Ziaol was speechless, now not only feeling that women were too long-winded but also unreasonable. Hence, he decided to ignore her and continued leading everyone madly rushing away. Just as Bei Ziaol and the others were fleeing, the battle between Long Chen and Chu Yang continued to grow increasingly intense. After fighting for so long, 
Chu Yang was shocked to find that Long Chen's punches grew heavier and heavier. There was no sign of him running out of power. It was as if he had more power than he could use. Furthermore, for some reason, a nameless kind of terror started to appear in Chu Yang's heart. He began to feel like his life was in immense danger. That was the feeling that stemmed from being an expert. It was as if he was currently walking deeper and deeper into the abyss. You, your power is still rising. Chu Yang suddenly realized what was wrong. Previously, Long Chen had said that he had missed his best chance to kill him. That was why he chose to don his armor, to exhaust Long Chen's power. However, now he found that Long Chen's power was still rising. It was as if he had been turned into a training partner for him. In that instance, he realized he had once more been conned. You're only realizing it now? It's too late. Long Chen sneered, sending Chu Yang flying with a punch. Chu Yang was shocked and enraged. He had always considered himself to be very smart, with only a few people able to beat him in intelligence. But he found that he was like a fool in front of Long Chen, repeatedly running into setbacks and simply walking headlong into Long Chen's trap. No matter what he did, he did the wrong thing. If it weren't for his innate senses telling him that his mind was wrong, he would probably have continued fighting like this, trying to exhaust Long Chen into eternity. These senses didn't just stem from him, they came from his cultivation technique, as well as his faith in the Divine Venerate. He was Fallen Day Knight's devoted follower, so he had Fallen Day Knight's Divine Mark, which allowed him to sense great danger. Your tricks are far too childish, far too low level. I've long since stopped playing with those things. You are someone skilled in waiting patiently, and you don't wish to expose your true trump cards. I suppose your trump cards are supposed to be used to fight over the position of the head of your family. But have you ever thought that the real problem would be whether or not you could leave the Jilin immortal land alive? The star diagram behind Long Chen continued to revolve, and endless power gushed into him. It was as if some explosive power hidden within those stars was about to break free from its seal and destroy the world. Fine. Then I won't hold back. I'll show you a supreme power within this world. Day Night Divine Radiance. Chu Yang clenched his teeth. The 18 prayer beads behind him exploded and a statue appeared behind him. Divine light radiated from the statue, filling this world and shaking the heavens. This was a statue of Fallen Day Night. Chapter 3034 Six Stars. Half open? When Fallen Day Night's figure appeared behind Chu Yang, heaven and earth rumbled. It was vaguely possible to see spatial cracks throughout his existence, as divine energy flowed through those cracks. It was as if the world could not contain that power. This was different from Chu Kuang's manifestation. This manifestation had a trace of the will of a true god a will that stood above the laws of the world. Hence, the very void was crushed. Long Chen, do you see this? What are you going to use to fight this power? Roared Chu Yang, his eyes scarlet. At this moment, cracks appeared in his eyes, and blood slowly flowed out of his seven orifices. Clearly, the fallen day night divine radiance could not be summoned casually. He had to sacrifice a portion of his own longevity and Yuan spirit to do so. Divine Radiance Descends. Ten thousand Deos rise and fall. All of heaven and earth are under my control. No one can match me. Chu Yang roared. Boom. The statue fully concentrated on his body. As he formed hand seals, the void exploded and a giant pill furnace appeared. When it showed up, brilliant light shattered the ten thousand Deos. After that, a terrifying wave of divine might erupted and Beishishi and the others were actually forced to stop and were blown back. Their magical arts crumbled in the face of that divine might. The surrounding land was crushed, turned to smithereens. Whether it was stone mountains or ancient buildings, they were crushed by that divine pressure. Long Chen, even as blood dripped out of her mouth, Beishishi turned toward Long Chen. Her runic golden shield had no use at all, so she stared in shock at that giant pill furnace. It revolved through the air, unleashing waves of power. Long Chen appeared incredibly minuscule in front of it. Bastard. Novaloon.com Zishianayu, Lu Chunayang, Zhen Milian, and Lu Zihao were covered in blood. Their backs had been facing Chu Yang, essentially turning them into her shields. They were almost killed. Bei Ziyol and the others had already fled far into the distance. 
but those shockwaves still reached them. Fortunately, they were far away enough that no one was injured. Are they really human? One of the Heaven Female Alliance's experts stared in horror at that distant battlefield. Fortunately, they were cultivators. If they were ordinary people, they wouldn't even be able to see the slightest bit of somewhere that far. They saw the giant pill furnace spinning in the air, the 10,000 deos crumbling around it. That power sparked despair. Good thing we escaped. If we were any slower, we'd be the same as those unlucky ghosts, not even knowing how we died. Zhang Ling wet her lips, still feeling some lingering fear. They had fled, but the remaining disciples of the five powers were still underground. They had been crushed to bits without even knowing what had happened. Boss really is boss. Everything is under his control. Bezaiol's eyes shone like stars. That expression of worship could no longer be described with words. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others were also amazed. Not only was Long Chen incredibly powerful, but whether it was the crafty Chu Kuang, the wily Chu Huairan, or the patient Chu Yang, they all seemed to be fools in comparison. In terms of age, Long Chen was actually a few years younger than them, but they all felt incredibly immature compared to him. He was simply a demon. Fortunately, they were Long Chen's friends, not his enemies. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to even sleep without being woken with fright. As the divine furnace revolved, the power of heaven and earth's 10,000 deos seemed to be absorbed by it. A supreme will then rose. Long Chen, this is my ultimate power. Now, do you understand the difference between us? Chu Yang raised his head and laughed. That laughter was full of furious killing intent. He was fallen Danite's follower. However, Summoning the Danite Divine Radiance came at a huge price for him. He had sacrificed his own longevity for this supreme divine power. Are you afraid? Why don't you crawl on the ground in inferiority as you wait for your death? Chu Yang slowly formed hand seals. The next moment, the Divine Radiance slowly descended upon Long Chen. Long Chen ignored the pill furnace. Instead, he was staring at the statue, looking at the runes revolving around the statue. He felt a slightly familiar feeling, to merge heaven and earth into one, to refine the 10,000 deos into a single furnace. Long Chen muttered to himself, Long Chen, what are you doing? Are you still not going to ask him for help? In the distance, Bei Shishi shouted to him when she saw him muttering to himself like a fool. Long Chen was drawn out of his stupor, looking at her anxious expression. He smiled, pretty girl, are you worried about me? Scram. Bei Shishi was enraged. Even at this time, this bastard was in the mood for this nonsense? Was his head broken? Hearing her words, Chu Yang's pupils shrank. Based on what she said, Long Chen still had a trump card that could resist his divine ability. Die. Not letting the divine furnace continue absorbing the power of heaven and earth, Chu Yang directly made it crash toward Long Chen. Luo Bing and the others were shocked to find that when the divine furnace fell, Time and space seemed to stop. They couldn't move. Even they were affected. Long Chen, what are you waiting for? In the distance, Bei Shishi grew even more anxious. The stone giant had yet to come out, and this attack contained the will of divine venerate fallen day night. Ignoring the power of the 10,000 deos that it had absorbed, just the will of such a supreme god could kill him. Long Chen gestured for her to be at ease. I was planning on using that trump card. But if it's just on this level, it'd be too wasteful. It's just the will of fallen day night. Is that so amazing? Boss Long San will take a look today. Six star battle armor. Long Chen let out a cry inside. The next moment, six stars lit up within his divine ring, and lines began to connect them. However, this time, the first star, the Feng Fu star, was lit ablaze. In that instant, Long Chen felt like a volcano erupted within his body. A line of fury exploded out of the Feng Fu star and ignited the Aleph star, and then the Life Fate star. When the Life Fate star was ignited, a triangle shape appeared within his divine ring. Heaven and Earth resonated, and the world changed color. Long Chen suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood. He was shocked to find that when these three stars ignited, his 108,000 stars suddenly stopped. All their power poured into those three stars causing their power to explode over ten times. Cracks covered as dragon scales, as they had reached their limit.
fuck. I can only activate three stars? What a miscalculation. Long Chen cursed inside. He hadn't expected the six-star battle armor's power to have become so monstrous as well. His dragon scales were already at the limit with just three stars. At this moment, that terrifying divine furnace smashed down, covering the heavens. There wasn't even time to summon the heaven-merging stone spirit. Clenching his teeth, Long Chen unleashed a single punch. Chapter 3035 Wiping Out Chu Yang Boom Long Chen's fist smashed into the divine furnace. Only then did Long Chen realize that the divine furnace was composed entirely of a god's will, something that merged the 10,000 deos with the laws of heaven and earth as the foundation. The supreme will erupted from the furnace. In front of it, Long Chen appeared completely minuscule, like a drop in the ocean. For some reason, when that will appeared, Long Chen's eyes turned scarlet, and all his power erupted. Even if his bones were crushed to bits, he couldn't retreat even half a step. Boom. That heaven-encompassing divine furnace shattered. As for Long Chen, he hacked up blood, his entire body cracking like porcelain. When the divine furnace crumbled, the 10,000 deos were broken, the laws of heaven and earth were torn apart, and the sun and moon lost their light. Chu Yang also coughed up blood. The statue behind him exploded, leaving him bloody and mangled. Both Long Chen and Chu Yang almost lost their lives and were seriously injured. Seeing this result, Bei Shishi was the first to react. She rushed over to Long Chen, who was only a breath away from a dead person. If he wasn't saved now, anyone could simply hit him lightly and take his life. Zi Xian Iyu and the others quickly realized this as well. A single long-range attack could take Long Chen's life, so this was their best chance. Even Chu Yang's life or death wasn't as important to them. Covered in cracks, Long Chen heard his body cracking with the slightest move, as if it would collapse. This was truly a grievous wound. After struggling to stand, he circulated the primal chaos space's life energy to recover. Fortunately, the countless precious medicinal plants contained immense life energy that helped him recover. Although it wasn't an instantaneous recovery, at the very least, it stopped his condition from worsening. On the other hand, Chu Yang crawled up and vomited several mouthfuls of blood. Even some broken bits of his insides came out. Contrary to Long Chen, he wasn't directly attacked, so his condition looked a bit lighter than Long Chen's. But his physical body also wasn't as tough as Long Chen's, even if it was just the resulting backlash from the Divine Furnace's explosion. He was almost torn apart. Long Chen began walking slowly to Chu Yang. He smiled coldly, although there were some surprises. In the end, I'm the winner. You're the one who's going to die today. Seeing that Long Chen still seemed to have power, Chu Yang finally grew terrified. Just at this moment, a ripple spread from the distance. It was like the setting sun casting its final burst of light. When that ripple covered the two of them, Chu Yang's body began to glow. A spatial gate appeared behind him. Ha ha ha. You want to kill me? Keep dreaming. You never thought that I had my own independent transportation gate. Did you? Time was up. Chu Yang was prepared and had his own transportation gate appear. Without hesitation, he charged in. Needless to say, the place that he was leaving to would not be the High Firmament Academy's gathering place. Just as he dived into the spatial gate, a ball followed him inside. What Chu Yang's startled cry rang from inside, and then a large explosion blasted apart the spatial gate. Water Chi exploded and space twisted. The Deca Water Divine Lightning is quite powerful. Long Chen nodded as he watched the twisting space. Although he felt a bit aggrieved to have to waste such a precious treasure on a half-dead Chu Yang, his own wounds were too heavy for him to have any better options. It wasn't as if he could just watch as Chu Yang escaped. Bei Shishi and the others were stunned. They hadn't seen the Deca Water Divine Lightning. They only saw Chu Yang enter the spatial gate and then Long Chen wave his hand to make the spatial gate explode, blasting Chu Yang out of existence. Zi Xian Iyu and the others were particularly stunned. Long Chen was clearly on the verge of death. No? How could he still be so powerful? Suddenly, a lightning dragon appeared, and Long Chen stood on Lai Long's head, with a whip of its tail. Lai Long brought Long Chen rushing toward them. Originally, they were the ones charging toward Long Chen, but seeing him suddenly come over, their expressions changed. 
Although Long Chen's aura was extremely weak and he was covered in blood, as if a single finger could make him crumble, his calm gaze terrified them, especially after he had crushed Chu Yang and his spatial gate using some unknown method. Since their courage had been broken by him, they fled. Just at this moment, divine light covered this world, and their jade plates flashed. Without hesitation, they activated their own spatial gates. Four spatial gates appeared, and the four of them instantly fled through the gates, vanishing. Once they were gone, Long Chen went to Bei Shishi, seeing him covered in blood. She asked, Are you alright? I'm fine. It's just losing half a life. Let's go chase after them, said Long Chen. He grabbed Bei Shishi, and before she could react, she was pulled into one of those spatial gates by Long Chen. Xiao, bring everyone away. We'll be back soon, shouted Long Chen as he vanished into a spatial gate along with Bei Shishi. Her startled cry also echoed. Bei Xiao and the others were too far. Before they could do anything, Long Chen and Bei Shishi had vanished. After a moment, the ripples also covered them. Bei Xiao then activated his jade plate, and a giant transportation gate appeared. This gate would only last for less than an incense stick's worth of time. So Luo Bing ordered everyone to hastily rush through. Once everyone else was through, Luo Bing and the others glanced back into the distance. They saw that Zishai and Iyu and the others' spatial gates had vanished. Hence, they also rushed through. Once through, they saw that they were in the High Firmament Academy's plaza. The Vice Dean, Heaven Master Yun Yang, Heaven Master Dong Ming, the Head Judge and the other experts that had led the way for them on that day were all here. Over 400,000 of the 1 million disciples who had entered returned. They were all covered in blood, and the bloody stench startled everyone. Although they had said that there was only a 50% chance of surviving in the Jilin Immortal Land, in truth, that was a bit of an exaggeration. It was mostly a warning to the disciples for fear of them carelessly losing their lives. Only a few select members such as the Vice Dean, Heaven Master Yun Yang, and the Head Judge had slight smiles upon seeing so many people return. Clearly, this was more than they had expected. However, while they saw Luo Bing, Bei Xiao, and the others, they didn't see Long Chen or Bei Shishi. Where are they? Asked Heaven Master Dong Ming. Boss brought Bei Shishi to the enemy's camp to play. Bei Xiao shrugged. What everyone, including the Vice Dean, couldn't believe their ears. Chapter 3036 Stone Spirit Exterminates Golden Bell Long Chen and Bei Shishi's vision flashed. They then appeared inside a giant plaza packed with experts. Zi Xian Iu, Zhen Milian, Lu Chun Yang, and Lu Zihao were all present, reporting something to a group of elders. When Long Chen and Bei Shishi suddenly appeared beside them, ah, Zhen Milian just so happened to be facing Long Chen directly, and seeing his gaze, she screamed. With a single point of his finger, a ray of lightning shot through her head. Just as he killed Zhen Milian, Bei Shishi's golden sword swung through the air. She didn't give Zi Xian Iu, Lu Chun Yang, and Lu Zihao a chance to react. Three heads flew into the air. Zi Xian Iu and the others had never dreamed that Long Chen and Bei Shishi would dare to follow them through their transportation gate. Without any defenses up, they were instantly slain. I already said that I wouldn't let a single one of you live. You dare to say that my word doesn't count. Long Chen sneered at their four corpses. Under normal circumstances, after their heads were cut off, the three of them wouldn't instantly die due to their powerful divine flame energy. But Bei Shishi's sword contained her terrifying metal energy, and as soon as their heads were cut off, that metal energy invaded their heads, turning them to gold. When they landed on the ground, they turned into golden dust and were instantly killed. This sudden change left even their elders that had lived countless years completely stunned. By the time they reacted the four of them had been killed. Boss Long San is present. If you don't want to die, hurry up and run. Today, Boss Long San's mood isn't good. This place will be destroyed. Those who flee too late, don't blame Boss Long San for not having any mercy, announced Long Chen, his voice spreading far into the distance. Brazen interloper, who are you? Barked one of the elders. That girl, isn't she the High Firmament Academy's Bei Shishi? They didn't recognize Long Chen, but they did recognize Bei Shishi. After all, her name was famous. However, 
Long Chen was wearing worn-down black robes with no mark of being a disciple of the High Firmament Academy. His extreme arrogance cowed them. After all, the immortal world had countless terrifying sects, and there were many people that they couldn't offend. Hence, even though they were infuriated, they didn't immediately move to wipe out Long Chen. They wanted to know who this other party was. You don't even know the name of the renowned and famous boss Long San? Just how have you lived for so long? I'll give you to the count of three. Either scram or die. Boss Long San is going to take over this sect, said Long Chen, being the very picture of utmost arrogance and disdain. Who are you? If you don't report your origins, don't blame us for attacking, roared one of the elders. They had to know who he was first. He was so arrogant that he had to have a powerful background. Otherwise, how could he dare to act so arrogant? Stand steady. Don't collapse when you hear this. Boss Long San comes from the High Firmament Academy announced Long Chen. You fucker. Those elders instantly went crazy, launching their attacks. They were as quick as lightning, their claws reaching toward Long Chen. TCH. I gave you face but didn't receive any in return. Since you want to die, don't blame Boss Long San for being vicious. Long Chen formed hand seals. Just as those elders were about to reach him, the void shuddered and a giant fist smashed down. Boom. That group of over ten experts was blasted to smithereens, and the fist continued to strike the plaza, causing the entire plaza to collapse. The surrounding tens of thousands of experts were transformed into blood mist. The heaven-merging stone spirit appeared and roared, his voice shaking the heavens. The grand formations here were destroyed. Long Chen and Bei Shishi stood on his shoulders, staring at the devastation resulting from a single punch. They were shocked. His power was absolutely terrifying. Who has come to my golden bell gate? If the golden bell gate has offended you, please let us atone for our crimes. Why don't we sit down and discuss this instead? Within the dust, a simple and heavy voice rang out. That voice seemed to be one with the heavenly deos. Moreover, it came with the will of a ruler and shook Long Chen's blood chi, leaving stars spinning in his eyes. This was another terrifying existence. It's probably a divine lord expert, whispered Bei Shishi. Brother, can you beat him? Asked Long Chen to the heaven merging stone spirit. No problem, then kill him. Long Chen was delighted to hear it. Long Chen was surprised to find that the heaven merging stone spirit seemed even more excited than him. He leaped forward. At this moment, Long Chen and Bei Shishi felt a heavy weight crash upon them. The heaven merging stone spirit had actually brought them high into the clouds. When his entire body glowed, Long Chen noticed that the stars around them also brightened. Then the heaven merging stone spirit smashed toward the ground like a meteorite. Hold on, said the heaven merging stone spirit. Bei Shishi then formed hand seals, summoning golden chains that bound her and Long Chen to his body. Boom. The heaven merging stone spirit seemed to clash with someone, but the flying runes everywhere made it so that Long Chen and Bei Shishi couldn't see who it was. After that, the world became still. Long Chen spread his divine sense and sucked in a cold breath of air. The earth had been torn apart. A bottomless abyss had appeared where the golden bell gate was. As for that divine lord expert, nothing remained of him. The heaven merging stone spirit brought Long Chen and Bei Shishi to the edge of the abyss. The two of them then looked down at that abyss, unable to calm themselves down for a long time. The heaven merging stone spirit's power far surpassed their expectations. In comparison to him, the little power that they were so proud of was nothing. What a pity. Long Chen sighed. What's a pity? Asked Bei Shishi. I didn't expect him to be so powerful. I wanted him to wipe out the sect so I could take their treasury. Those treasures. Those precious medicines. Those secret tomes. Those beautiful women. Ah. They're all gone. Long Chen shrugged. Long Chen had been planning on using the heaven merging stone spirit to establish his own fame and profit a bit, but he hadn't expected the latter to wipe out everything. Now he didn't gain anything, all because he had underestimated his power. Bei Shishi was originally listening intently, but when Long Chen added on the beautiful women, she grew scornful. This fellow was spouting nonsense once more. Long Chen found a nearby boulder and took out a dagger. He then left behind a line of bold words. Boss Long San was here. What are you doing? Asked Bei Shishi. 
Doing good things without leaving my name isn't my style. I want everyone to know who did this. In any case, this can't be covered up, so I might as well be direct. Wouldn't it be better to be more heroic? Said Long Chen lightly. The High Firmament Academy had so many people, and it was unknown just how many eyes from the outside world were placed there. The fact that Ian Baishishi hadn't returned with everyone would be well known to their enemies. So what the two of them had to have done would be obvious. Long Chen also wasn't planning on covering it up. He had found the correct way to cultivate. So it was time for Boss Long San to rise. Brother, our agreement has been completed. Let us part ways here. Thank you, said Long Chen to the Heaven Merging Stone Spirit. Chapter 3037 Shai Tongshan Brother San Many thanks. The stone giant knelt on one knee and performed an ancient etiquette to Long Chen. Bei Shishi stared in confusion. It was clearly the stone giant helping Long Chen. So why would he be the one thanking Long Chen? The heavenly stone spirit race might have simple heads, but we're not fools. You freed me from my promise so soon to give me my freedom. Only once the stone giant said this did Bei Shishi understand. No wonder Long Chen had pulled her into the transportation gate. He didn't just want to kill those four. Long Chen was also surprised that the stone giant saw through his intentions. He knew that the stone giant's power was so immense that using this favor like this was very wasteful. But he couldn't help thinking of the simple wild. After the agreement was complete, the stone giant could return home. So Long Chen had him freed up sooner. Brother San, you're still too weak. I can guard you for three years, said the giant. Long Chen waved his hand, interrupting him. He then patted his giant arm. If you stay by my side, I will grow too dependent on you. That's not good for my own growth. You might be powerful, but it's still not enough against my future enemies. I can't depend on you forever. Since that's the case, it's better for you to regain your freedom so I can raise my own ability to handle danger. The path of cultivation depends on yourself. However, I understand your heart. You call me Brother San, but you still don't have a name. How about I give you a name? You are from the Heavenly Stone Spirit Race's Heaven Merging Stone Spirit Branch. I'll name you Shai Tongshan. Many thanks, Brother San. In the future, amongst the human race, my name will be Shai Tongshan. 1. Go. If fate allows it, let us meet again. Ah. Promise me something first. Don't talk to anyone from the human race before returning to your ancestral land, warned Long Chen. Considering his simple nature, he could easily be tricked. Long Chen didn't want him to be freed from this place only to be tricked somewhere else. Shai Tongshan bowed toward Long Chen and then with a single step, vanished. The world returned to calm. If it weren't for that bottomless abyss, Long Chen might have forgotten about the existence of the Golden Bell Gate. Staring at the bottomless abyss, Long Chen was silent for a long time. He had thought that he was already quite powerful, but compared to Shai Tongshan, he was incredibly weak. Shai Tongshan wasn't even a fully matured existence in the Heavenly Stone Spirit race. He hadn't even received his race's baptism but was already so terrifying. The immortal world was truly enormous. There were thousands of races, and there were far too many things that Long Chen hadn't seen yet. What are you just standing there for? Bei Shishi finally spoke up a bit impatiently. Sigh. All things have spirits. In the end, it is impossible to escape mortality. All living beings have their own troubles. Let me just have a moment of silence for them. Long Chen had an expression of bemoaning the state of the world. A pity for the fate of mankind. Seeing that appearance, Bei Shishi scornfully said, If it weren't for that delighted smile of yours, I might believe you. What kind of mournful saint did this fellow think he was? Despite his act, that smile of his could not be concealed no matter what. He, as expected of the number one figure of the High Firmament Academy's junior generation, not even this can trick you. Let's go. If we still don't leave, we might not be able to at all, said Long Chen. Bei Shishi then took out her golden war chariot. When Long Chen entered, he found that the space inside was extremely large and very luxurious. Not standing on courtesy, Long Chen walked over to a corner with a blanket and sat down. There was already a cup of tea on the small table and he drank it. The formation activated, and the golden war chariot sped off like a shooting star. 
Its speed was many times greater than a flying boat. Seeing Long Chen acting like this was his own home and being so casual in his broken down robes that were covered in blood, Bei Shishi frowned. Most irritating of all, the spot he was sitting in was hers. That cup of tea was also something she had drunk from. That is my tea, said Bei Shishi with a glare. I don't mind, said Long Chen, leaning against the window and watching the world pass by them. You, Bei Shishi had an urge to slap him. Ah. How is the number one figure of the High Firmament Academy so petty? It's just a cup of tea. Just pretend it was broken and thrown away. What? Do you think using your cup is like kissing you? Then since we're all breathing the same air, isn't that even more intimate? Said Long Chen. As expected of a scoundrel. Spat out Bei Shishi. HMPH. You've managed to establish your fame with this battle. You're probably the number one figure of the High Firmament Academy's junior generation now. That's why you don't care about me. Ha huh, what kind of joke is that? You didn't even activate your bloodline power in that battle. But you already managed to fight evenly against those four. If you had gone all out, then even without me, you would have dominated them. I'm still not a match for you. I at least know my own limit, said Long Chen. Bei Shishi was surprised. She hadn't expected him to be humble and even see through her holding back. She frowned. If the two of them had split up, wouldn't they have managed to obtain more treasures? If you knew that I had that power, why join me? Because although you're powerful, your head isn't flexible enough. I was worried about you suffering, said Long Chen indifferently. When Bei Shishi's expression sank, Long Chen waved his hand. Don't refuse to admit it. With Chu Yang's character. He wouldn't go directly against you if he wished to kill you. He would definitely use your subordinates. Considering your temperament, your heart would definitely be thrown into chaos if you watched as your subordinates were killed. That would definitely reveal many weak points for them to take advantage of. Once that assassin from the Blood Kill Hall grasped that chance, you would have to pay a price. If it wasn't for Chu Yang or a schemer present, I wouldn't have bothered you. With your combat power, you aren't inferior to Chu Yang, but in terms of treachery, you aren't a match for him. Bei Shishi's expression softened. It was true. The most dangerous ones amongst them weren't Zhao Wuzheng or Chu Yang. It was that assassin that they had eliminated from the start. In terms of true combat power, if neither side was holding back, then even in a one against seven, she didn't fear them. But if she fell for one of their sinister schemes, she would have to hold a grudge. Thank you. After a moment of silence, Bei Shishi also sat and thanked him. What did you say? I didn't hear you. Long Chen raised a hand to his ear and tilted his ear to her. Bei Shishi furiously grabbed Long Chen's collar and shouted into his ear. Do you hear me now? Suddenly, Bei Shishi found that she was getting easy to anger. Seeing that smile on Long Chen's face, she realized that she had fallen for it. The two of them were almost pressed together. So she hastily let go of him. A slight redness appeared on her face. All right. I won't tease you. Let me ask you. How should we? Cough. Long Chen suddenly went through a coughing fit. Blood dripped out of his mouth. One Shai Tong Tian equals stone merging heaven. Chapter 3038 The Academy's Foundation Bei Shishi suddenly recalled that after that battle, Long Chen's body was riddled with wounds. It was just that he acted like he was fine causing her to forget about his condition. She then hastily took out a medicinal pill and gave it to him. Long Chen saw that it was a very precious healing pill that was probably at the third tier. Long Chen shook his head. Thank you. Medicinal pills are useless because this isn't the wound of the body. Chu Yang summoned the Danite Divine Radiance that contained the will of fallen Danite. My will clashed with that will, resulting in a Dao wound. Long Chen had his own medicinal pills and the primal chaos space had the ability to heal him. But Chu Yang's attack contained the will of a supreme god. That was the real issue. Who asked you to act so nonchalant? If you had said something, I would have helped block that attack. But you acted so indomitable that it made me think that you had enough assurance. Bei Shishi shook her head. She had almost interfered. But Long Chen had seemed completely confident, as if everything was within his control. So she hadn't. That was because even for her, blocking such an attack would come at an immense price. Back then, she was the final insurance, the one in charge of stopping the unpredictable. 
That was why she had to hold back, to be able to handle any unexpected changes. If both of them used up all their trump cards, then if their opponent still had a card left, that would leave them with no hope. Ah, don't mention that. It was a miscalculation. I almost lost my life because of it, said Long Chen helplessly. Let's not talk about such depressing matters. Will the Academy be holding us accountable for killing so many people? Most definitely they will be holding people accountable. The five powers lost their elite disciples, and the Golden Bell Gate was completely destroyed. The remaining four powers will definitely come to make a fuss out of this, but I trust that the Academy won't bother with them. They won't get what they want even if they come, said Beishishi. I want to ask you, since those fellows are followers of Lord Brahma and Fallen Daynight, will our actions infuriate Lord Brahma and cause him to directly destroy our High Firmament Academy probe Long Chen? No, you're overthinking it. Lord Brahma is one of the Immortal World Supreme Experts. He has believers throughout the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. Second-rate powers like the Golden Bell Gate. Nine Cauldron Church, Silver Moon City, Clear River Palace, and the like are nothing more than ants amongst Lord Brahma's followers. They can't even count as dogs. They aren't even big enough powers and only dare to challenge our High Firmament Academy due to Lord Brahma's support behind them. Lord Brahma has always wanted to subdue our High Firmament Academy, but the High Firmament Academy has always rejected him, resulting in his dissatisfaction. His disciples are the ones most dissatisfied and are constantly sending idiots to cause trouble for us. The Academy normally doesn't bother with them, but for them to dare to try to kill me this time, HMPH, they really are courting death. Long Chen had a thought and said, maybe you should tell the Dean about this. We can lead people to wipe out the remaining powers as well. To tell the truth, I made two mistakes this time. One is miscalculating my own power while the other is miscalculating Shai Tongshan's power. I wanted him to slaughter those experts, and then you could use your metal energy to find the underground treasury, but we didn't get any treasures. To tell the truth, I'm still vexed. My stomach hurts. It's almost an internal injury. I urgently need some treasures to settle my heart. Beishishi glanced at him scornfully. Don't try to use me. Let me tell you, Ziaol and I don't get special treatment. All our resources are earned by ourselves. Although the Dean is our grandfather, we're treated like ordinary disciples. I'm not able to affect how the higher-ups deal with this matter. I can only guess. Long Chen deflated when he heard this. Really? Then I'm not getting anything other than all these wounds? Ah, I'm really unwilling. I've never suffered such a loss in this lifetime. The Five Powers Elite Disciples were all killed and you wiped out the Golden Bell Gate. You've managed to make a name for yourself with this battle. What else do you want? Demanded Beishishi irritably. It would be best to gain fame and fortune. I want both. Ah, I'm simply greedy. Sighed Long Chen. You really are too greedy. We found the headquarters of the Starry River sect this time and have gained so many murals. Although there's no way to estimate their value yet. I believe that every single one of us will obtain a huge amount of points once we return to the Academy. The Academy's foundation isn't something you can imagine. As long as you have enough points, you can exchange them for unbelievable treasures. Some of those treasures are even more valuable than the whole Golden Bell Gate. The ones in the treasuries that you've seen are only the lowest level ones, said Beishishi. Long Chen's heart started pounding wildly. A single treasure could be more valuable than a sect? What kind of treasure was that? Was your golden war chariot also exchanged with points? Asked Long Chen. What do you think? That I stole it? Demanded Beishishi. Long Chen tapped a nail and awkwardly laughed. Fine. I admit that I underestimated the High Firmament Academy. I'll work harder on getting points in the future. While looking at a mountain river passing by them rapidly out the window. A solemn light appeared in Beishishi's eyes. She said, The Nine Prefecture Convention is about to start. The other powers similar to the Golden Bell Gate, Clear River Palace, and the like will launch an attack on us at that time. Someone is definitely directing them. I suspect that Lord Brahma will use the Nine Prefecture Convention this time to wipe out his dissidents. At that time, the Nine Prefecture Convention will turn into a bloodbath. Long Chen. 
I hope that you can quickly increase your cultivation base. The two of us must get into the top 10 so that. Bei Shishi suddenly realized that Long Chen didn't react to her words at all. Hence, she looked over and saw that he was leaning against the window, asleep. Vexation bubbled up within Bei Shishi. She was talking seriously, but he fell asleep. But seeing his worn down face and cracked lips, her heart softened. There was no need to doubt Long Chen's power. If they had worked together, they would have had the power to resist their enemies. But then Long Chen had racked his brains to set up arrangements to wipe out their enemies. All to make sure that more people would leave this place alive. If she had led them, although she was confident that they still would have won, she was unable to achieve that level of absolute control. Something unexpected could cause a large number of casualties. Even if they won, it would be a miserable victory. Long Chen had said that his habit was to get the greatest gains with the smallest price. What he had said, he had done. Looking at Long Chen, she suddenly found that this devil was actually like an innocent child when he was peaceful. It almost gave her an urge to protect him. Eventually, Long Chen felt the chariot was at a stop. He opened his eyes but found that they hadn't reached the academy. Feeling startled, he asked. Is someone chasing us? Chapter 3039 Choosing a suitable person it's fine. We've entered the High Firmament Academy's barrier. I stopped the chariot to let you rest longer. Bei Shishi turned from the window and looked at him. Good. Long Chen took a deep breath and sighed. He then rubbed his face. Feeling so much better after that sleep. What are you looking at me for? Long Chen cocked his head at Bei Shishi. She seemed to be wearing a smile that was not a smile. Bei Shishi said, you were acting weird in your sleep. Sometimes you cried. Sometimes you laughed. Like you're a fool. Nonsense, said Long Chen. But his words lacked confidence. Not only that, but you were also talking. You shouted many names. Bei Shishi leaned closer toward Long Chen. Her eyes were like stars staring at Long Chen, as if wishing to see through his secrets. Are you getting so close because you want me to kiss you? I didn't expect that you were such a person. Long Chen looked at her guardedly. Bei Shishi was a bit angry, but she quickly smiled. I know you're just trying to anger me, so I won't get angry. What did I say in my sleep? Asked Long Chen. I'm not telling you. Bei Shishi raised her eyebrows and smiled mischievously. It was as if she had won. So she was delighted. TCH. So you were just lying. Long Chen snorted disdainfully. Is that so? Tell me, who is Chu Yao? Who is Meng Chi? Bei Shishi grew even more pleased. Long Chen started. Was he really sleep talking? How else would she know those names? He had no idea what he had said in his sleep, or if he had divulged any secrets. Long Chen's bewildered expression drew out Bei Shishi's laughter. She smiled brilliantly. That feeling of success was even more delightful than when she had awoken her divine abilities. Long Chen wanted to figure out what he had said. But how could he have known that he had actually only said Chu Yao and Meng Chi, and that was it? The crafty light in her eyes made Long Chen feel strange. You have so many women. I don't understand how a weirdo like you got so many women to fall for you. Do they have a problem with their aesthetics? Asked Bei Shishi. Long Chen clenched his teeth. She was getting payback for his teasing. But who was he? He knew just what to do. He eyed Bei Shishi and indifferently said. My charisma is simply amazing. I don't dare to show my strong points to others now. It would be best if you get further away from me. Or if you end up falling for me as well. You'd be doomed. All my women are as beautiful as heavenly fairies and have peerless aptitude. With your looks and talent, you'd probably only be able to become a bed warmer however. Bei Shishi didn't get angry. She smiled. I have a bit of confidence in my looks and talent. You won't be able to anger me like that. Furthermore, I, Bei Shishi, dislike men, especially such unfaithful, fickle men. As long as a woman is strong enough, she has no need for the life form known as a man. I can't be bothered to argue with a child's perspective, said Long Chen. It seemed that Bei Shishi had a problem in her heart. She had a certain prejudice against men. According to Bei Ziaol, she was also extremely cold to her father. They almost never spoke. Bei Shishi sent the chariot flying toward the academy. The academy quickly received word. And Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, Bei Ziaol, 
and the others all came to welcome them. Millions of Inner Academy disciples cheered for their return. It had already been two days since Bezaiol and the others had returned to the Academy. Hence, the shocking battle of the Jilin Immortal Land had already been spread to all the other disciples with the most brilliant narratives. That battle was innately an extremely heart-moving story, but through their words and additions, Beishishi and Long Chen were described as peerless battle gods who had descended to wipe out their enemies. Just one day ago, the High Firmament Academy received word that the Golden Bell Gate had been wiped out. It was forever gone from this world. Bezaiol declared that it was definitely done by Long Chen. Long Chen had the Heaven Merging Stone Spirit, and this trump card had yet to be used. Hearing that Long Chen had wiped out the entire Golden Bell Gate, these disciples grew even more admiring of him. Long Chen was too domineering. He didn't only kill all the disciples of the Five Powers, but he even chased them back to their nest and wiped them out. His revenge didn't wait for a single night. Just how domineering was that? Thus, when people received word that Beishishi's chariot had returned, all the Inner Academy's disciples almost came out. This was the welcome of the returning heroes. Are you very moved? Asked Beishishi. It's all right. I'm used to it. Long Chen waved his hand. At this time, the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples swarmed over Beishishi. They were extremely moved to see that she was safe and sound. It could be seen just how important she was in their hearts. Beishishi comforted them and directly left just like that with them. She didn't even say goodbye to Long Chen, as if she didn't know him. Boss, are you all right? Beishishi supported Long Chen, seeing that he was still a bit pale. It's fine. I suffered a minor injury against the master of the Golden Bell Gate. It's not important, said Long Chen without reddening in the slightest. In any case, no matter what he said, Bei Ziyol would believe it. But Luo Bing was aware that he was just bragging. Anyway, they were all relieved to see him return alive. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, the fact that we could return alive is all thanks to you. This favor, said an inner academy disciple who rushed over emotionally. You're wrong. You returned alive thanks to yourself. After all, at that time, you chose to believe me. That required its own courage. You made the correct choice at the right time, and you all heroically slew your enemies on the battlefield. Every single one of you is a hero. This victory doesn't belong to any one person. It belongs to all of us, including the warriors of the High Firmament Academy who fought to the death. You are all the future pillars of the Academy. The fact that you didn't fall during that battle also indicates that you are raising the flag of the High Firmament Academy's resurgence. Work hard, brothers. These words moved them immensely, so they let out heaven-shaking cheers. Long Chen's words were the greatest acknowledgement. To receive the acknowledgement of an expert like Long Chen was their life's greatest honor. In the distance, Heaven Master Yan Yang, Heaven Master Dong Miang, the head judge, and the others watched. Heaven Master Yan Yang smiled. Some people are natural leaders. They possess a charisma that makes others willing to fight to the death for them. Such a charisma is simply innate. Although Shishi is powerful, ultimately, her talent lies in being a general, not the commander-in-chief. An elder came running over, reporting to Heaven Master. The Vice Dean requests to see you. He says that the Clear River Palace, Nine Cauldron Church, Silver Moon City, and Amethyst Heart Island's big figures have come. Oh, Heaven Master Yun Yang and the others exchanged a look. He smiled. All right, now there will be a good show. Other than that, the Vice Dean said that he won't be receiving them. If you are also unwilling to receive them, he says that you can choose a suitable person instead, said the Elder. Choose a suitable person. Heaven Master Yun Yang was startled. They all looked at the distant Long Chen and then started laughing. Chapter 3040 Help Noveloon.com Long Chen returned to the headquarters of the Luo Gate with an escort of countless Inner Academy disciples. Seeing that Long Chen's aura was still a bit weak, they didn't want to keep him for too long, so they tactfully left. After all, he needed to recover. The headquarters of the Luo Gate was previously destroyed by Bei Ziyol's father and was now reconstructed to be even grander than before. There, Long Chen asked, what happened to those bastards from the Chu family? Luo Bing smiled. Chu Yang schemed to kill Bei Shishi. 
That's gravely against the Academy's rules. The Dean was infuriated, and captured everyone from the Chu family's side. Curiously, when we entered the Jilin Immortal Land, many of the Chu family's higher-ups secretly left the Academy, but somehow, they were dragged back. Not one managed to escape Long Chen sneered. The Chu family treated the Academy's higher-ups as idiots, without realizing that they were the true fools. Every single one of their movements were under the Academy's gaze. The Academy hadn't put them in their place because they had their own goals. Now that they tried to run away, they really were dreaming. Through the battle of the Jilin Immortal Land, Long Chen truly saw just how wily the Academy's old foxes were. They weren't easily moved to action, but once they did, then the Chu family's people could only die. The Chu family is probably going to be ripped out by their roots this time. However, while everyone has been caught, they haven't been executed yet. No one knows what the higher-ups are thinking, said Luo Bing. Whether they kill them or not is no longer important. Those people of the Chu family are essentially dead already. In any case, they're nothing more than pawns. If they're lost, then they're lost. The Chu family won't cause trouble for the academy just for those people. The higher-ups must have their own reasons for not killing them. There's no need for us to worry. In any case, on this battlefield, the Chu family can be said to have fully lost. Congratulations Junior Sister Luo Bing. You've managed to win for the Luo family, said Long Chen. The Luo family and the Chu family were mortal enemies. A large root of the Chu family had been ripped out this time. It was good news to the Luo family. From this moment, the Chu family would no longer have any power in the High Firmament Academy. While the Luo family's disciples could freely set roots here, Luo Bing had an urge to say some modest words. But considering how close they were, there was no need for her to act courteous. Chu Yang was slain. The Chu family's power in the academy had been ripped out. Her grievance and resentment over Luo King Yang also mostly faded. At least with this, she could give an explanation to the family. Boss, not good. My, my father. He asked me to go over to him tomorrow. Bei Ziaol ran over, pale with fear. Long Chen sighed inside. Last time, due to him, their power transfer was interrupted midway. In order to guarantee that Bei Ziaol's cultivation didn't regress, his father had to give him another beating. What a pitiful father and mother. No father and mother didn't cherish their own child. Last time, if it hadn't been for Long Chen. Bei Ziaol's beating would have lasted him at least half a year. However, now, after only a short time, Bei Ziaol needed another beating. Long Chen had been busy with the Nine Prefecture Convention and the Jilin Immortal Land, so he hadn't had time to properly study Bei Ziaol's condition. He could only allow him to be beaten again. Don't be afraid. Give me your ear. Let me teach you a move. Long Chen whispered something into Bei Ziaol's ear. Bei Ziaol was bewildered after he heard it. Boss, will this really work? Don't worry. A human's heart is made out of flesh. Worst case, it will just hurt both sides. Just who is afraid of who? Said Long Chen confidently. All right. Since I can't avoid it, I'll try it. Said Bei Ziaol, running off. Once Bei Ziaol left, Long Chen asked about the losses of this battle. Through Luo Bing, his guess was confirmed. When the Chu family was ripped out of the academy, many hidden helpers were also exposed. When Long Chen had sent out the signal to gather, the majority of those who hadn't come were actually the Chu family's henchmen. Those people had already been conned to death. Clearly, the Chu family's methods were extremely vicious. They wanted to wipe out all the talented youngsters of this generation. They were truly brazen. The disciples that Long Chen had managed to gather were those that the Chu family didn't care about. It was precisely due to this that they managed to escape with their lives. Learning this, those disciples were even more grateful towards Long Chen. Without him, all of them would have died inside. Considering how strong Long Chen and Bei Shishi were, Zhao Wuzheng and the others wouldn't have been able to kill them. All of Long Chen's arrangements were to save them. It was just as he said using the smallest price to get the greatest gains. Although Bei Shishi was the number one junior of the High Firmament Academy, after this battle, it was now Long Chen who the Inner Academy's disciples were filled with gratitude and worship towards. Compared to the aloof Bei Shishi, Long Chen actually saved them. 
That was enough to make them wish to follow Long Chen. Boss, just after a while, Bei Ziyol came running back. When he entered, he suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, causing everyone to jump in alarm. Ziyol, Mu Qingai and hastily supported him. He was covered in blood, with many areas where even his bones were sticking out. It was as if his body had already been deformed. It was completely vicious. Those wounds gave others chills. Seeing his miserable state, Long Chen angrily said, He beat you into this state even after you said what I told you to say. Bei Ziyol cried, That's right. He's not even human right. Boss, what you taught me, I said it wrong. And he immediately beat me into this state. He's a demon. What did Long Chen tell you to say? Asked Luo Bing. Boss said that when he's about to beat me, I should say, Dad, have you eaten yet? I'll make you some food. Boss said that by saying this, his heart would be too soft to be so vicious. How did you say it wrong? Asked Luo Bing immediately. It ended up being, Dad, have you eaten yet? And then, Bei Ziyol wept so hard that he had no words. Long Chen, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others were speechless. Long Chen shook his head. This child was actually quite thoughtful, afraid his father would feel mentally burdened. He hadn't been able to say those words. Just as Bei Ziyol was weeping, Heaven Master Yun Yang arrived. He brought with him a middle-aged woman. That woman walked over to Long Chen and placed a hand on his shoulder. A grand Dao flower bloomed behind her. It revolved and Long Chen was shocked to find that his injuries instantly healed. The remnant god will inside his body was completely expelled. Long Chen instantly reached his peak condition. He couldn't help looking at that woman in shock. She smiled slightly. All right, I've fulfilled my mission. Junior apprentice brother Yun Yang, I'll take my leave. Once she left, Heaven Master Yun Yang smiled at Long Chen. I asked my senior apprentice sister who was in seclusion to come out to heal your wounds. Now you need to help me out with something. 